tonight? I don't know, dude. I'm hungry. Yeah, Junior. What's for dinner? Yeah, I need some grub. Some grub in my tummy. You hear that tummy? We're about to get some grub. Junior, please tell me you have some grub for Joseph's tummy. Well, I, I think I have some cereal downstairs. You want to eat some cereal? <gasps> cereal? Junior, cereal's a breakfast food. You can't have breakfast for, for, for fucking dinner. <laughs> you crazy? <laughs> Psycho? Well, it's against the rules, dude. Yeah. It's, not, it's not against the rules. Oh, yes, it is. Look, right here in the Eat Handbook. Um, let's see. Uh... Uh, uh, it's right there. See? Rule 1746. Thou shalt not eat breakfast foods for dinner time. Especially not bacon, eggs, pancakes, and cereal. Well, well guys, what if we don't follow the rules? What if we did it anyway? <gasps> Junior, you naughty, naughty boy. Ooh, I feel so dirty. And not because I don't wipe. Uh, come on, guys. Let's just eat one bowl of cereal. But, 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 Junior, what if the food police catch us? Snap out of it, Cody. The food police are not going to catch us. They're too busy solving crimes. Like, how does RB still have customers? Okay. Uh, let, let's go eat some cereal. Mm -mm -mm. This is so good. Hey, Chef BB. Oh, Junior, you're just in time for dinner. Ew, what is that? It's spinach tomato pizza. Spinach? Tomatoes? Grub for my tummy. Yeah, exactly. Spinach tomato pizza. Why couldn't you just make regular pepperoni pizza? I'm trying to cook healthier, Junior. And the tomatoes are like pepperonis. No, they're not. Well, well we don't really want this. We kind of want cereal for dinner. Oh! <gasps> Cereal for dinner? Junior, what's wrong with you? That's against the rules. Oh, I'm gonna call the food police. Oh, no, please don't. Oh, okay, wait, please don't call anybody. We'll eat your stupid healthy pizza. <laughs> That's what I thought, Junior. <sighs> all right, guys, eat up. Ew, it's all healthy. Ugh, these tomatoes are gonna make me throw up. What's wrong, Cody? Junior, I hate tomatoes. Hate them. Yeah, they're just disgusting. Add that to my bio. Cody hates tomatoes. That's a new character trait. They're just gross, and they're all mushy. When you bite into them, this garbage water comes out. It's gross. Yeah, can we just eat cereal? Yeah, let's just eat cereal. But, but guys, Chef Peepee's gonna call the f food police. Well, maybe if we eat really quietly, he won't notice. So guys, go grab your favorite cereal. Okay. Now that's more like it, dude. Yeah, we all get to eat our favorite cereals. This is so illegal. Oh, dude, I'm eating Cookie Crisp. It's cookies for breakfast for dinner. And I'm eating Cinnamon Toast Crunch. The taste you can see. You know, I never really understood why they said it was the taste you can see. I don't see anything. You can't see the taste? Dude, I can see it. Yeah, I can see it too. No, what's it look like? It looks like sparkles and glitter. Well, really? Yeah, look, look, look. I don't see it. You have to look closer. I can't look any closer. I'll help you out. <laughs> More like the taste you can feel. <laughs> Your mama. Wait, 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 what, what cereal are you eating, Cody? <sighs> I'm eating Fruit Loops because I'm fruity. Okay, that joke's getting old. You say that all the time. I think it's something new. Go get a new cereal. But I really do like Fruit Loops. No, you didn't make a funny joke, so go find a funny cereal that you can make a joke about. <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay, guys, I got Lucky Charms. What's the joke? Um, they're, uh, they're, they're magically delicious. That's their slogan. That's not a joke. Well, yours was just a slogan, too. You said the taste you can see. No, I slapped your face into the cereal and said the taste you can feel. That's what made it funny. Yeah, but you didn't know that was going to happen. Yes, I did, because you're gullible and you're a dweeb, and I thought your big gullible dumb face was going to come do it. Well, okay, look, what do you want me to do? Okay, let's just eat our cereal. No, go find an original cereal that you can make a joke about. What other cereal would I possibly find? Go find one! <sighs> All right, guys, I got magic treasures. Magic treasures? What kind of odd brand Lucky Charms is that? It's all you had in there. Okay, what's the joke? Um, they're magically suspicious. <laughs> okay, finally, can we eat now? Yeah, let's eat our cereal. Let me just pour this. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, what's this? There's a magic wand in there. A magic wand? Well, you can be like Harry Potter and do like magic spells. No, I'm pretty sure it's just a toy. No, no, but what if it's real? What if you can do like magic tricks? Oh, dude, that'd be so awesome. Yeah, like magic spells, like pew. Guys, come on. If it were real, I could give Joseph three eyes by saying something like, Beehives, knee highs, give him three eyes. <laughs> Joseph, don't freak out, don't freak out, but you have a third eye. I know, dude. I can see a whole other universe. Dude, where time travels backwards. My dad gave birth to me. Fish can actually walk, and the food police are coming. What? The food police are coming. Okay, look, grab the wand. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Cody, that wand actually works. I know. Joseph, how do you feel about your third eye? Oh, dude, I'm getting used to it. What do you see right now? Oh. <gasps> JFK just assassinated Lee Harvey Oswald! Wow, that eye sounds crazy. Yeah, everything's in reverse. Oh, so that means you're a wizard, Cody. Oh, yeah, I guess I am. What are you gonna do with that wand? Well, I don't want to use it for evil, but I might see how far I can shove it up my hoo-ha. You should do something cool, like you should do really cool spells. Like, oh my god, you could give me a really deep voice, like a really cool manly voice. Um, okay, I, okay, I guess I can try. Uh, bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? 
Give this man a bad voice. Did, did it work? I, I don't know. Did it work? Whoa, dude. What? <laughs> you sound like Elmo. I, I do not sound like Elmo. <laughs> yeah, you do. Wait, wait, do the laugh. <laughs> oh my God, that's totally Elmo. Yeah, dude, you sound like Elmo. No, I do not sound like Elmo. Okay, okay Junior, Jun 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 do me a favor. Say, the word of the day is big schlong. The, the word of the day is big schlong. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did the laugh. <laughs> Okay, I guess I can try. Uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, fix this man's squeaky mouth. <sighs> okay, that should fix it. Oh, thank God. I was getting tired of that squeaky voice, huh? Oh, no. Dude, you sound like Mickey Mouse. I do not sound like Mickey Mouse, huh? Yeah, you really do. Well, take your dang mouse control and change it back. Uh, huh? Okay, I'm You're really starting to piss me off. Oh, okay, I I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, no! Hold on, I just need to get the right words. Uh, okay, uh, eggnog, b big, big hog, uh, b b burpee, burpee, frog. Yeah. Uh, um. Oh, what's wrong, Cody? What, did you turn me into a frog? Uh, d yeah. Oh, well, um, how about you change me back? Dude, you sound like Kermit the Frog. Oh, I sound like Kermit the Frog? Yeah. Do I look green? Yeah. Do I look like a frog on a log? Okay, geez, I'm gonna change you back. You know what the good news is, Cody? Now I can date your mom. Cause she's Miss Piggy! <laughs> Burn! Okay, okay, I have to fix this. Uh, okay, can't be that hard. Uh, Lunar Boonier Make Him Junior! <laughs> oh, thank God you're back. Wait, say something. Cody, I'm so mad at you! That's better. You need to throw that wand away, it's dangerous! Yeah, I probably shouldn't have this. But before you throw it away, get rid of my third eye! I thought you liked it. No, dude, no girl's gonna want to date a guy with three eyes. Maybe three legs, but not three eyes. All right, Cody, take it away. Uh, okay, uh, let me think. Uh... And do it, do it right. Oh, okay, okay, uh... Three eyes, goodbyes, uh, get rid of that thing on his head. Ah! Dude, I can't see anything! I think something happened to my eyes! Jesus Christ. What did you do, Cody? I don't know. Dude, what does my face look like? You don't have a face, it's, it's just a hand. A hand? Give me a high five. That was pretty good. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, you know, if he tried to brush his teeth, he'd give himself a manicure. <laughs> Oh, you're so funny, Cody. Why weren't you that funny in the cereal yeah, scene? You remember when you showed me in the cereal? Guys, stop fighting. We gotta figure this out. <laughs> okay, okay, no, seriously. We have to give Joseph a hand. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, no, seriously though, uh, Joseph, we have to change you back. Oh, I don't want to change, dude. I kind of like this. You know what? I'm going to eat my cereal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That looks terrifying when he does that. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, so, so Joseph doesn't want to get changed back, so what are you going to do now? Oh, I'm going to go and apply for a job. Apply for a job? Yeah. Well, if he gets a job, he, he could be a job as a hand, so he would have a hand profession. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, so I think we should get rid of that wand. Yeah, I think you're probably right. After we mess with Chef Pee Pee. Oh, yeah, of course. Jesus Christ, Simmons, look at this crime scene. Another case of people eating breakfast at dinner time. A bunch of serial killers. They didn't even use milk, those animals. What's this? Magic treasures? Oh no. We're dealing with one desperate son of a bitch. Who do you think did it, mate? I don't know. Let's search the house and see what we can find. Oh, hey, mate, you still got my shirt from Thanksgiving. No, I burned it. You burned it? What? That was my lucky shirt. Simmons, I don't want to talk about it anymore. That day didn't happen. Oh, all right. I hate cleaning this stupid kitchen. All right, Junior, what do you want to do to Chef Pee Pee? I don't know. You know it'd be really hot is if you turn him into a girl. Well, he's already pretty hot. I know, but like, imagine him like as a girl. He'd probably be really hot. Okay. What do you want, Cody? Um... Chef Pee Pee Linguini, get rid of his weenie. What? What? Did you guys just change me into a girl? What? Yeah. Ew. What do you mean, ew? She's really hot. Hey, Chef Pee Pee, will you kiss me? No, I won't kiss you. Actually, I look pretty hot. You know what? I can make the OnlyFans and take the easy way out in life. <laughs> huh, good for her. Or him. Or them. I don't know. Okay, okay, look, let's go do one more thing with the wand, and then we'll break it, okay? Okay. All right, Junior, what's the last thing we should use this wand for? I don't know. You should do something for yourself. Like, what's something you've always wanted to change? Huh. Oh, I know. Uh, let's see. Uh, Peter Piper picked a peck of... Screw it. Give me a big wiener. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Look at that thing. It's like a Coke can. Oh, yeah, I can work with that. What's up? I got big wiener energy now. Uh, can I use that thing Stop now? Stop right there, you two! Oh no, the food police! Uh, what do you guys want? 
Hey, mate, I found a big bowl of cereal over here. Oh, you two are so screwed. Thought you could just eat breakfast for dinner. Don't you know the rules? Huh? Huh? No. Oh, well, we're so sorry. No, oh, sorry's not good enough. I hope you two are packing, because you're going to need it in food jail. I'll be okay. Oh, no, I can't use it real quick. Oh, look, 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 look. We have to do something to get out of the situation. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, p p p higgity smiggity piggly wiggly. What? Am I a piggy? Yeah, we are piggies, mate. If I wanted to be a pig, I'd just go to the buffet. Hey, mate, what's your piggy name? Mine's Porky Pig because of what I do with your mother. What? I guess I'm Charlotte from Charlotte's Web. Hey, Charlotte was the spider in the movie, mate. Well, I hate this. I hate pig stuff. Why would they name it after the spider and not the pig? It's about a pig. This pisses me off. I'm going to be mad about this all day. I'm just... I'm going to go home and oink at my wife. And I'm going to go see your mother. Uh, I'm glad we got rid of them. Yeah, me too. Wait, what are you doing? Looking at Chef Pippi's OnlyFans. Ooh, let me see. Ugh, why couldn't he have started one before I turned him into a girl? I know. So I just realized something, Cody. I don't think you had to say all that wacky stuff when you would do a spell. I think you'd just say what you wanted. But really? Yeah. Okay, let's try it. Uh, ooh, I know what I want. I want five guys inside me. <laughs> wait, wait, where are the guys? Uh. Oh, I, I just burped up a five guys cheeseburger. That, that's not what I meant at all. Okay, how about this? I want five human men inside me. <laughs> what the... This isn't what I meant either, but I'll roll with it. That must be my friends, Joseph and Cody! What's up, guys? Uh, Joseph? What's up, dude? Only, Joseph, where's Cody? I don't know, he usually shows up right next to me. Uh, I hope Cody's coming over. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird. Now I have no one to make fun of. Yeah. Nice shirt, dweeb. You're wearing a shirt too, dude. Yeah, but mine is orange, the color of oranges. Yours is green, the color of boogers. That's gross. Is that all you could think of? Yeah, Cody's so much easier to make fun of. Yeah, he is. I hope he's still coming over. <gasps> Ooh, maybe his mom is so fat, she's blocking the doorway and he can't get around her. <laughs> that is a big issue. Yeah, big. <laughs> issue. Yeah. <laughs> Come inside. All right, dude. So, Joseph, you really don't know where Cody is? No, dude. Usually after I knock on the door, he appears right next to me. He just appears right next to you? Yeah, he spawns in like a video game. What? That's crazy. Yeah, it's kind of weird. But what do you have planned for us today? I was thinking we could try these Oreos. It's just Oreos, dude. Well, these are double stuffed. Kind of like Cody's mom. <laughs> Facts. Oh, that must be Cody. Let's answer the door. Okay. Hey, Cody. <laughs> hey, guys. Cody, you're late. Come inside. Yeah, dude. But but I have the... Okay. Cody, what took you so long? You're late. Well, I had to get ready. For what? For, for this. To hang out? But no, no. For, for this, you know? You want to try these new Oreos I found? But Junior, those are just normal Oreos. No, these are double stuff. They're like your mom. <laughs> fat. She's fat. Yeah, she is. If you say so. Well, that's all I had planned for the day. I'm bored. Well, I had something planned. What? Well, look at me. Notice anything different? Do you have a booger in your nose, dude? No, I don't have a booger in my nose. Well, most noses have boogers in them, Cody. Well, okay, maybe I have a booger in my nose, but that's not the point. Why don't you check? Well, I'm not gonna check. There's probably a booger in there. Oh, can we see it? No, you can't see the booger. It doesn't matter. Forget about the booger. Is that what you want us to see? No, no, look at me. Do you notice anything else that's different? Oh, you have glasses. Yeah, I, I do have glasses. Yeah, have you ever noticed he's wearing glasses? Dude, it's something new. Like, it's, well, it's new I, glasses. I've be. worn glasses as long as you've ever known me. No, you've never worn glasses but today. Well, I promise I've always worn glasses. Look, that's not important. Look, I'm a magician. So you fix lights? No, th Junior, that's an electrician. I'm a magician. I do magic. Well, you don't do magic. Well, yes, I do. Well, then do some magic tricks, you, you dumb electrician. <sighs> okay, hold on. Okay, I'm going to show you I can do magic with a card trick. Ooh, a card trick. Okay, Junior, pick a card. Okay. Wait, why does he get to pick a card? I'm going to pick a card. Okay, Joseph, pick a card. Yes. No, he told me to pick a card. Dude, you always get to do stuff. You have your own month. And we deserve that month. Uh, okay, guys, can we just focus on the trick? How about we play rock, paper, scissors, and whoever wins gets to pick a card? Okay, best of three. Best of seven. Best of 15. No, no rock, paper, scissors. Joseph, pick a card. Okay, which card? It doesn't matter, any card. But I just don't want to pick wrong. What? You can't pick a wrong card, just pick a card. All right. Nah, nah, nah. What? Just pick a card. Um, dude, help me pick. Okay, uh, pick that one. This one? No, lower. This one? Lower. This one? No, up. <laughs> oh my god, somebody just please pick a card. So I can pick a card. If you want to. Dude, I want to pick a card. Rock, paper, scissors. No, no, all right, let's go. Joseph, pick a card. All right, all right. But why not that card? No, I don't like it. What? No, just pick that one. Oh, you want you, you want him to pick that one because you memorized that one. Yeah, cheater. No, I don't have it memorized. Just pick a card. Yeah, pick a new one. All right, I'm gonna pick a new one. Um. Okay. 
Okay, you have the card? Yeah. Do you know the card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the six of club. Wait, you're not supposed to tell me the card. But you asked me which card it was, well, dude. I just wanted to make sure you knew. I'm not supposed to know. Of course, I'm, I, of course I would know. I picked the card, dude. Okay, just put the card back. All right. Now pick a different card. All right. Um... Good choice. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, okay, so you know the card. Mm-hmm. All right. No, no, no. You... Oh, that one, that one has a king on it. Yeah, it's what? a king of spades, dude. You're not supposed to tell me what the card is. You asked me if I knew the card. Dude. It, it looked cool. What? You're not supposed to know. Put the card back. Put, put the card back. Okay. You gotta be specific with the rules. Pick a new card. All right. <clears throat> okay, okay, do you know the card, Joseph? Mm-hmm. Okay, don't tell me. Just show it to Junior. See it, dude? Oh, that's like the Lucky Charms logo, like the ten of them. Yeah, it's what? ten of clubs, dude. No, no, you guys keep saying the card. But you, you wanted me to show it to him. Yeah, and I thought it was cool. But don't tell me the card. I'm, I'm not supposed just, to know. Just making sure he knew, though. What? Okay, oh my, oh my god, put the card back. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, just pick a different card. <sighs> okay, okay, so you have the card. Yeah, I have the card. Do not tell me the card. Okay, so you know it? Yeah, I know the card. All right, now put the card back. Wait, well, why, why, wait, why would he put it back? So you can feel where he put it and you know what it is? No, I have to do the magic trick. No, don't put it back. He's trying to cheat. Are you cheating again, dude? No, I'm not cheating. I don't care what you do with the card, okay? Just do anything with the card. But don't show me the card! You can't do anything with it! I want to show you the card! Well, and then anything else, don't show me! But it's a say, cool card! Yeah, say that. Say, do anything but show me. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was doing magic for idiots. You're just a really bad electrician. I'm not... Ele put the card back. Okay, pick a different card. Oh my god, okay, okay. Don't tell me the card. Do not show me the card, okay? Do whatever you want with the card. Oh, I'm gonna flush it in the toilet. Okay, fine. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Alright, dude, I got rid of the card. Okay, so it's gone, right? Yeah, it's gone. And it's not coming back? Nope, it's not coming back. Okay. Is this your card? Hmm. I don't know, maybe. What, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Look, you made me pull a lot of cards. What, uh, th no, no, this this is your card. You, you just had this one, right? No, nah, I thought it was the three of hearts. Yeah, what the three of hearts? Right, I think so too. Yeah, it was three. N n no, no, it was the two of hearts. That was your card. No, I saw a three. What, n no, no, you, look, you just had this card. You flushed it down the toilet. No, it was the three of hearts. What, mm -hmm. No, you just flushed this card. Wait, if you flushed it, how do you have it? Yeah. That's a magic trick, the whole point. Did you go in the toilet to get this card? Ew, Wait. gross. No, I didn't go in the toilet. Like, who digs in the toilet for cards? What, Creep Cut the crap. This is your card. Ta-da. It was the three of hearts. Yeah. It's not the three. Okay, fine. Whatever. Are you going to do another trick? Yeah, sure. Pick a card, Junior. Okay. Uh, what card do I want? I want this one. Ooh, right here, nice on pick. the ground. You're not supposed to. All right, fine. Pick that card. Uh, what do I do with it? All right. I want you to take that card and shove it up your butt. Wait, shove it up my butt? Yep, shove it way up your butt. Why? Well, that's the magic trick, Junior. You'll see. Hey, Joseph, can you help me put that in my butt? Okay. It's gross, but okay. Make sure you get really in there. Uh, yep. Deep, deep in there. Oh, hold on. There you go. Uh, okay, it's in my butt. <clears throat> yep. Ta-da! Wait, what? That's the trick. Wait, wh what? It, it's in your butt. Wait, wait, yeah, it's in my butt, now what? Well, that, I mean, that's the trick. It's just up your butt now. Is it supposed to come out of his mouth or something? No, but it will appear in the toilet next time you use the bathroom. Oh, cause cause he flushed the other one. No, no, because it's because it's in your butt. You suck at card tricks. Yeah, this is a bad trick. Okay, whatever. We're done with card tricks. Can I have one of those Oreos? Yeah, sure. Get one. Okay. Okay, guys. I have a totally normal Oreo cookie, right? Yeah, I saw you grab it from the bag. Yeah, nothing weird about it. No. Okay. I guess I'll just take a bite then. Mmm, <sighs> that's a good cookie. Now watch this. <coughs> How did you do that? Dude! What well, the cookie came back? That was crazy! Mind freak! Oh, let me see that cookie! Oh. Uh, uh, Wait, dude, it's a fake! Uh, uh, how about we just do a hat trick? It's next? a fake! Wait, it wasn't even double stuffed! Alright, guys, sorry about that last trick. That last trick was dumb. Yeah, where do you even get a fake Oreo? From the magic store. What if I wouldn't have had Oreos? How would you have brought it up? I would have just said I brought one from home. Why would you just bring one Oreo from home? I, I don't know. It would have gotten stale. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, you guys want to see a hat trick? Sure. Okay, now look in the hat. Is there anything in the hat? No, just your lice. Ha, <laughs> itchy scalp. Well, I don't have lice. Or dandruff? No, I don't. Just, just look, there's nothing in the hat, right? No. Okay, well, I'm going to make something appear in the hat. Are you going to itch your head and have your lice fall in it? <laughs> but no, I don't have lice. Look. Okay, see my magic wand? Oh, you like Harry Potter. Well, yeah, sure, I'm like Harry Potter. Okay, ready? 
One, two, three, Alakazam! Ah! A lice monster! It's not a lice monster, it's a rabbit! Wait, that's a rabbit? Well, yeah, I mean, it's a fake rabbit. Wow, so you just carry fake rabbits around in your hat? Well, yeah, it's like a magic trick thing. Fake rabbits, fake Oreos, real lice. Well, I don't have lice! Oh, okay, you know what? No more hat tricks, no more car tricks. I'm gonna show you guys a real magic trick. Where's my sexy assistant? Oh, sexy assistant! <laughs> I'm ready for the water trick, Ken. All right, for my next trick, I'm going to be using my sexy assistant, Ken, here. Oh my god, Cody, he's a doll! Joseph, let's not get into this right now. I'm doing magic tricks. What's this container for? I'm glad you asked, Junior. Ken is going to be placed inside this container as it slowly fills with water. Will he get out before he drowns? It doesn't even matter. He can't breathe. He's a doll! He's not a doll, Joseph! Wait, so he'll be able to move his arms and legs? No, he's going to be tied up. Okay, I got to see this. All right, Ken, get in there. All right, everybody. Ken's in there, and he's all tied up. Tied up. Cody. Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. So Ken's in there, and he has to escape before he drowns. Oh, my God, dude. This is a waste of time. No, it's really cool. We don't know if he's going to get out or not. He's not. He's a doll. All right. The trick's about to start. Remember what we practiced, Ken. Okay, here comes the water. Oh, the water. Oh, no. Ken, you have to get out. You're going to drown. So stupid. You better hurry, Ken. You don't have long. Uh, why isn't he untying himself, Cody? He's about to do it, Joseph. Oh, no. It's filling up really fast. Ken, you gotta hurry. His arms is even isn't moving, dude. Yeah, yeah, they're not moving. Ken, you better hurry up. You sure he's not a doll? No, no, no. He's Come on, move, him. Ken. Oh, Ken. Oh, no, it's getting pretty high. Oh, Ken, you're gonna drown. No, Ken. Uh oh. I told you this uh -oh. was a waste of time. No, 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 he might he might do it. He might actually do it. What? Um, I, I, I think I saw him flinch. What? Uh oh. I, I ran out of water. I, I have to go get more water. Hold on. Okay, hopefully this is going to be the last one. Okay, hopefully. Let's just let's try it. Uh, uh, oh, oh, it's getting really close to his head. Close, Ken. Oh, no. He really needs to get out or he's going to drown. Dude, he's a doll. He's not going to drown. He's not a doll, Joseph. Oh, oh, no. He's about to cover his mouth. Uh oh. Oh, Ken. Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! He's gonna start drowning! Oh, no. No, Ken is fine. Oh, oh no! He's underwater! Uh, oh, he's underwater! He's gonna drown! He's not even moving! Oh, no. He's Look at him. He's a doll. That's why he's not moving. No, he's not moving because he's a professional. He's not scared. Oh, no! He's underwater! He has to get out! He's gonna drown! Go! He has to get him out! He's gonna drown! No, Ken's gonna get out right now! Mind free! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Ken got out! Ken got out! Ken got out! Ken got out. Ken got out. Junior, the card that was in your butt. Ah! That was in my butt. That was in my butt. I put it up your butt. Yeah, that's in my butt. Oh, Cody, how'd you do that? A magician never reveals his secrets, Junior. Oh my God, Cody, you're the coolest magician ever. Dude, I believe in magic now. Me too, me too, me. Too. Cody, you have to do another trick. Yeah, okay, but I need Joseph for this one. Okay, dude. Oh, so cool. Oh, kid, it's so dry. Okay, so for my next trick, I'm gonna saw Joseph in half. Wait, what? Saw Joseph in half? Dude, you can't saw me in half. Yeah, you might kill him. Well, he's not gonna die. I'm just gonna take this saw and cut him in half. But saws are dangerous, and saw is also a scary movie. Yeah, it's rated R. And dude, I don't even think you're a real magician. And there's a lot of sequels to that movie. Well, I mean, that's true. But look, you saw my last trick, and Ken was okay. I mean, Cody kind of got a point. I mean, he did make Ken come out of that water. That was a cool magic trick. Yeah, that last trick was cool and all, but I don't know about this one. This is dangerous. I mean, will it hurt Joseph? Oh, no, no, no. You won't feel a thing, I promise. He promises you won't feel a thing, so, I mean, that'd be kind of cool if he could cut you in half and put you back together. I don't know, dude. I mean, you will put him back together, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, Joseph, you gotta do it. I wanna see. I guess I'll give it a try. Okay, lay down, Joseph. All right. All right, are you ready? Yeah, just make it fast. Okay. Wait, 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 Co Cody, he will be okay, right? Oh, yeah, he'll be fine. Ta-da! Oh. oh, God. What? Oh, God, I did the trick wrong. What, you cut him in half. I killed him. Well, you, I actually killed him. You killed him. Oh, my God, I killed him. Well, you, you said you were going to cut him in half and put him back together. Oh, you can't put this back together. He's actually dead. Well, well, well you I, said you were going to cut him in half and you cut him in half. What'd you do wrong? Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I was supposed to have, like, a box and he was supposed to bend his legs. It was like a trick. I, I practiced it on Ken's cousins and they didn't die. Well, how did you forget the box part? I, I don't know. I don't know. But oh. I actually cut him in half. Oh, Joseph, Joseph, speak to me. Oh, he's not going to talk to you, Junior. He's dead. We 
What, killed him. what are we gonna do? Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I, I could just do another trick. It's called Make the Body Disappear. Uh, mind free! The body's gone! Yeah, it is. Well, where's Joseph? Is he okay? Uh, no. Joseph's dead. I mean, you saw him. He was cut in half. Joseph's dead! You said he was gonna be okay! What is wrong with you? It's Junior. I made a mistake. I don't know what to tell you. Ah, Joseph's dead! I want him back! Come on, Junior. Here, here, pull this yellow thing. W will it bring Joseph back? Maybe. Okay, that's done. That's it? Yeah. And that was my last trick. So... That's lame! Oh! <laughs> Cody, where'd you go? Bring Joseph back right now! You can't just poof away because you, you did something bad! Mind freak! <sighs> that must be my friends. <sighs> hey guys. Hey Junior. Hey, how do you do? <sighs> it's still hard to get used to that. Yeah. All right, guys, come inside. <sighs> what do you want to do, Junior? I don't know. I've been constipated for like a year. That sucks. I like feet. Yeah, we know, Pangy. <sighs> I really miss Joseph. You know what today is? The one-year anniversary of me song Joseph in Half. Yeah, I just really miss Joseph so much. We have this dumb, stupid penguin we hang out with. But I really miss Joseph. Yeah, but you know what, Junior? What? Mind freak. What? what? Joseph? Whoa! Well, Joseph, where have you been the whole time? Dude, I was in your butt! What? I'm not constipated anymore! Mind freak! Ah! Cody, you better wake up, boy! What's wrong, Dad? I told you to wash them damn dishes! I did! Oh no, you didn't! Come on! Uh. Oh, so you washed the dishes, huh? What's this? These were not here before. That's because I ate! Well, how was I supposed to know there were dishes now? Boy, don't talk back to your daddy! Wash them damn dishes! Okay. Cody, why are you out of bed? It's past your bedtime. Well, Dad woke me up to do the dishes. Damn, Skipper, you gonna wash these dishes? Go to bed! After you wash these dishes? No, go to bed first! I don't know what I'm supposed to do! Damn it, you brought it for talking back, boy! Go to your room. We don't want to see you for a week. And no toothpaste! Yeah, I better not see no clean ass teeth. <laughs> mm. Ugh, I hate my life. I wish I could just disappear. Hey, Cody. What? Who are you? It's me, Hagrid. I, I don't know who you are. Mom, Dad, there's a homeless man in the house. No, 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 no. Listen. You're a wizard, Cody. I, I'm a wizard. And you're rich. Filthy rich. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. Mom, Dad. No, 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 no. Just come with me and I'll take you to your safe. It, it sounds like you're trying to kidnap me. Nah, it'll be fine. Come on. Okay, well, I guess it's better than being here. Come on, Cody. How about my motorcycle? Hold on. I, j I just have a few questions. Where are we going and should I tell my parents? Whoa, 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 whoa. Those aren't your parents. Your real parents are dead. And those dead parents made you filthy rich. Come on, just check it out. We think you're safe. Uh, okay. This is your safe. This big thing? Yes, look. Holy mackerel, all this money's mine? Everything you see is yours. Wait, why do you have the combination of my safe? Because your parents trusted me, and they really shouldn't have. There used to be a lot more money than this. You see, I went to a wizard strip club, and there was floating titties all over my face. Okay, well, I'm gonna be changing the password. Wait, what's this red thing? This! This is mine. Uh, are you sure it's not mine? Because it's in my safe. Yeah, it's mine. Just hurry up, grab some cash. I have a list of things for you to buy. Okay. Like an owl, hurry! An owl? Okay, fine, I guess that's good. Okay, I think I got everything on the list. I just can't believe I'm loaded. Yeah, that's crazy! Uh, oh, yeah, uh, here, here's for helping. Thanks. Uh, so how do I get to Hogwarts? There! That, that's a brick wall. No, it's a magical wall. You run as fast as you can into that wall, and you appear in front of Hogwarts. Really? You're not screwing with me? No, come on, do it! Yeah, if you say so. Ow! Oh! Oh, shit! Ow, that hurt! <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that! Stupid! Come on, follow me. I'll take you to Hogwarts. Dick? This is Hogwarts. Are you sure? Yes. Now go grab your owl, go inside and make some friends. You never told me why I need the owl. You're also famous! What? I'm rich and I'm famous? What am I famous for? There was a guy who killed your parents. He tried to kill you too, but he couldn't. That's why he left a scar on your face. 
You're the boy who lived, wait, Punta. Wait, 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 wait. So somebody killed my parents and he's trying to kill me? Yes, now go inside and have some fun. No, who's trying to kill me? Welcome to Hogwarts. What? I, Hagrid, don't leave. Oh, oh, Jesus, okay. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry. Just let me squeeze in. Uh, hey, you guys know what I'm supposed to do with this owl? It's supposed to go in your dorm room. I have a dorm room? I have to live here? Well, take it off the table. Put it in the chair. Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry about that. Let me just put this down here. Hi. Hi, I'm Penelope Granger. And I'm Nigel Weasley. Oh, hey, I'm Cody Potter. <gasps> Holy cricket, you're Cody Potter. I've read about you in a book. You're famous. Wait, there's a book about me? And you're rich. I'm poor. Oh, well, that sucks. Uh, so there's a book about me? Also, I heard somebody's trying to kill me. You guys know anything about that? Yes, we do, but we can't say his name. It's scary. Oh, okay, but I am going to need to know his name because he's trying to kill me. So, I mean, clearly somebody told you guys his name because it's the name you're not going to say. So good somebody tell me? I mean, you could just whisper it. That'd be fine. Shh. The sorting ceremony's beginning. Okay, you could, could you just tell me what he looks like? Shh. Okay. Hello, students. Welcome to Hogwarts. I'm Professor Dumbledore, and I will call you up one by one and let you wear my hat, and he'll tell you where to go. I hope I'm in Ravenclaw. Oh, I hope I'm in Swivering. What, why are they letting the hat do it? Can't we just pick the house for ourselves? Also, the guy who's trying to kill me, is, is he here right now? Like, could you guys point him out? Just give me a hint or something? Well, if it isn't Cody Potter. That's Junior Malfoy. He's mean. And look at those ugly teeth. You must be a Weasley. Is your family known for that? Yeah. Well, Cody Potter, I don't care if you're famous or rich. I hate you. Uh, okay. Okay, the first kid is Jeffy. Hmm, not much going on in there. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff? Does that mean I get to smoke weed? All right, next kid is Junior. Man, I sure hope it's Slytherin. Slytherin! Slytherin! Oh, good. All right, next one, Penelope. I hope I get Ravenclaw. Huh, in your dreams. You're Gryffindor. Go sit down. But I didn't even try the hat on. That's because he's tired. He told me before you came up here. You're Gryffindor. Go sit down. Ugh. And Nigel, you're Gryffindor, too. He's still tired. And uh, Cody, Cody Potter, you come up here. He has enough in him for one more. Uh, that hat doesn't have lice in it, does it? Because a lot of people have been wearing it. O okay, screw me then. Hufflepuff! Hufflepuff! Wait, okay, yeah, Hufflepuff. I like that. That's fine. Okay, so what happens now? It's time to eat. Oh, good. Um, c can you just tell me the guy's name? Like, can you at least tell me what letter it starts with? Let the feast begin! I ordered Applebee's to go! Oh my god, it looks so good! Now this is eating good in the neighborhood, isn't it? Yeah, Applebee's. How magical. Oh, Cody! Why are you gonna eat first? Do you want some pasta? I'm eating the burger, putter. Okay, you can have it. I think I lost my appetite. Cody, you have to eat something. We have a lot of classes later today. <sighs> I just got here and I found out someone's trying to kill me. What? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take a nap until class starts. All right, class, today we're going to be learning how to fly a broom. The first thing you're going to do is look at your broomstick and yell, Up! 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 up. 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 I just picked mine up and started sweeping the floor with it. Very good, Jeffy! Up! 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 up. 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 Ow, damn it! Up! Up! Ow, 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 ow. Teacher, my broom won't stop hitting me! Up. That's because you're doing it wrong! Up! I'm just going to Google up. it. Up! Put up! No phones in class! Yeah, no phones in class, nerd. What? Hey, hey! Go get it. What? I'm gonna go get it. Whoa! Look at him go! God damn it. Yeah. Why'd you throw my phone, dick? Wow, that was amazing flying, Potter. You should be on the Quidditch team as a seeker. Okay. Can I be on the Quidditch team too? Sure. I'm gonna beat you in Quidditch. Wait, what? Hello and welcome to the Hogwarts Quidditch Tournament! Now, usually what you're supposed to do is knock a ball through a bunch of hoops, but we took all the hoops down because all that really matters is this thing. If you catch the golden snitch, you win immediately. So just focus on this. Okay, now, go! You see that? Yeah, that thing's fast. Well, I'm gonna go catch it, because I have a Nimbus 2001 George Bush edition. Aw, I didn't know those came out yet. I'm not jealous. I could buy like 30 of those hoes, because I'm fucking loaded. I got all my money in Gringotts. Well, I'm gonna catch it before you. Nuh-uh! 
Uh, I'm about to catch it. No, I'm gonna catch it. No, I'm gonna catch it. No, I'm gonna catch it. Whoa, whoa, I lost control of my broomstick. I'm not controlling this. S somebody evil is. I wonder who it could be. Crash, crash your broom. Die. Don't crash. What's, what's happening? Don't, don't crash. Don't listen. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Whoa! Whoa! No! Someone help! Whoa! Penelope! Carrie's about to die! It looks like someone's controlling his broom! <gasps> it's Professor Snape! We gotta do something about it! I'll go distract him! All right then. Die! Crash! Don't crash your broom! Don't Teacher, I have a lighter at school! What? You have a lighter at school? You're not supposed to have that! You're in trouble! Let's go to the principal's office! Come on, we gotta take her to the principal's office. But die! Come on! Whoa, 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 hey, it stopped. Oh, look, the golden snitch. No. Hey, Cody, spit that out. Hey, look, I caught it. I guess I win. Cody Potter grabbed the snitch. Hufflepuff wins. Yay, Cody, you won. Yeah, Cody, you did it. You're the greatest Quidditch player ever. I think I just got lucky. No, that's pure skill, Cody. My broomstick looks like a carrot. Alright class, welcome to Wizard Class 101. I am your teacher, Professor Snapey Choo, and today I will be teaching you how to use your wand. See, I have a tiny wand because I am Asian. Everything I have is tiny. And it is very important that you pay attention in wizard class. Isn't that right, Potter? Huh? Oh, yeah, sorry, teacher. I was just texting my mom to let her know I'm rich and I'm not coming back home to that shithole. Oh, so you think you don't have to pay attention because you know everything. Well, what would I get if I added a powder root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? Hmm. I don't know, dog. I just found out I'm a wizard and I'm rich today, so I've been kind of focusing on that. So just give me a few weeks. And I bet you couldn't also tell me how many grains of sand there are on Earth. Hmm. No one knows that. Hop off my cock, dog. Pick on someone else. All right, Cross. The first spell you're going to learn is a little floating trick. You're going to take your stick and point it at whatever you want. And then you're going to say, Wingardium Leviosa. And then whatever you point it at should float. So try it. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Hey, Cody Potter, that, that spell will come in handy with your mom because she's so fat she can't get out of bed. So that, that, that spell will help her float because she's so fat. Hagrid, he's bullying me. Who? The blonde kid. Pay me to beat him up. Okay, right, here you go. All right, kid, you coming with me. But why? He paid me. Ah! Thanks, Hagrid. Oh, Cody, what kind of spell is that? Bully disappear Oh, that wasn't a spell. I just got cash. Oh, Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm making this desk float! Look, that's cool! Potter! You put that dust down! You don't want to hurt nobody! Uh, okay. I'll, I'll try to put it down. Whoa! Oh, shit. I'm in trouble. Cody! What in the world would you do that? It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Oh, it's true, isn't it? Uh, Paul, you go to Dumbledore's office now! Ugh. Oh no, not Dumbledore! Hey, Dumbledore, I threw a desk at Professor Snape. The way of the wizard is not in which you seek, Potter. Okay. Whatever you do, don't go into the door upstairs. Why would you even tell me? Because I don't want you to go in there. It's almost like you want me to go in there. Well, I don't. Okay, I'm going to go check it out. I told him not to. Huh, this must be the door Dumbledore was talking about. Hi, Cody! What are you doing? Are you skipping class? No, Dumbledore told me not to go into this room, and now I want to. Oh, well, you can't go in there. He says do not enter. It would be against the rules, Cody. You know what? I think we should go in there now. Good thinking, Nigel. Let me just try to open this. Oh, it's not even locked. Whoa, is that a three-headed dog? You know, more of a cat person myself. That's Hagrid's dog. It must be guarding the door. It eats people. Be careful. What, Jesus, what is it even doing here? Okay, I'm going to go ask Hagrid about it. Hey, Hagrid? Oh, hey there, Cody. How's school going? Yeah, uh, it sucks. Listen, I have a question. There's like this giant three-headed dog, and I'm pretty sure he's yours. How do I get him to stop eating me? Oh, if you want to know that, that's going to cost you a pretty penny. Ah, <sighs> you're bleeding me dry here, dog. Damn. All you have to do is play music or go to sleep. Really? That's it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, thanks. 
All right, Hagrid said we have to play music for him to make him fall asleep. So does anyone have Spotify or something? I've got a show of saying for him. <clears throat> Be it she bitch, she spy. I went up the wall, I spout. Down came the rain and washed the spy out. Up came the sun and tried to pull the rain. And the itchy bitchy spy went up the spout again. Wait, wow, he's actually asleep. Yeah, let's go take a look, see, innit? Alright. Oh, look, a chessboard! And in that, Professor Quarrel? Hey, kids. Is that the Sorcerer's Stone? Yeah, it is, but I can't. Touch it yet. But if I beat you in chess, I can. Oh, well, you can't beat us in chess. We're British. <sighs> Bring it, hose. All right, I'll go first in. Knight to E3. Uh, Nigel, I think you have to move it. What kind of wizard's chess is this? Oh, it's not. It's just regular chess. Oh, all right, then. We go ahead and grab this. And... There we go. <sighs> Pawn to A3. This is going to take a while. <laughs> You're done. Oh, I'm done. Watch this. Take that, you fool. I can't believe I've lost it, Jess. I don't feel so good. I think I need to see the nurse. I'm going to take him to the clinic. <laughs> hey, Cody, guess what? I got a face on my head. Not this face. I actually got another face on the back of my head. Check this shit out. It's wild. Hello, Cody Potter. We meet again. I've never met you. I think I'd remember a face on the back of a guy's head. Are, are you guys like conjoined twins or something? Can you breathe under that towel? D does he like have to brush your teeth? You guys share the same throat. How does that work? No time for games, Potter. Give me the stone and we can bring your parents back to life. I didn't really know my parents. Like, they left me a lot of cash, and I'm worried if they come back, I won't get to keep it. Give me the Sorcerer's Stone now! I don't like your tone, and also, it's right there. You can just grab it. I can't! Hand it to me! Nah, you sound kinda evil. I, I don't really like any of this. If you won't give it to me, then you will die! Kill him! Ow! 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 My hand's burning! Ow! How are you doing that? Ow! <laughs> wow, this stone looks like it's worth a lot of money. Hello, Kitty! Oh, hey, Dumbledore. I, I found the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh, and also Professor Quirrell was evil. He had a face growing on the back of his head. You guys should probably do better background checks. The stone must be destroyed! Hand it over. That seems okay to me. Well, it's not. Hand it over. Okay. Chick ching What? Nothing! Yep. Uh, Hufflepuff wins! What, what, I win? What does that mean? Uh, hey guys, I, uh, I killed a man with my hands, and then Dumbledore told me I won. Well, it's time to pack your bags, Cody. We're going home for the summer holiday. What, home for the summer? I just got here today. I don't even think I learned anything. What, I never figured out what this owl is for. Like, why do I even have this? I haven't seen anyone else here with an owl. It's for mail. Mail? I have a phone. Oh, oh, also, the guy with the two faces that I killed, was that the guy who was trying to kill me? Because he, he did try to kill me. So, can we say his name now? Is that him? G guys? Okay, I guess I'll see you guys next year. Ugh, I hate school. Uh, me too, dude. Come on, guys, cheer up. School's great. You get to be around your friends and learn new things. These are the best years of our lives. Jeffy hit him. Ow! Well, the bus is coming. Hopefully it runs you over. Yeah. Darn, it didn't hit you, Cody. Maybe next time, dude. Let's get on the bus. Ooh, look, a quarter. Hey, I got a quarter. Hey, ow, ow, hey, my arm's got the door. Open the door. Open the door. All right, is everyone on the bus? Uh, yeah, I don't think we're missing anybody. Where's Cody? I think he's sick. All right, let's go to school. You guys hear that screaming? You hear two? Oh, I always hear a voice in my head screaming, kill everybody! I thought it was just me. <laughs> well, no, I think it's coming from outside. <laughs> what? Cody, what are you doing outside the bus? You're supposed to ride inside it. Cody, I tell him to stop the bus! Okay, I'll tell him to stop. Hey, stop the bus! I'm not stopping the bus, we gotta go to school. You're dragging Cody! I'm not dragging anything, go back to your seat! <sighs> Oh, 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 I think I just hit dinner. Ring, ring, 
gonna be happy she doesn't have to cook tonight. Hold on, Crass, let me go pick up my dinner. Is it cat? Is it dog? I hope it's cat. Oh no, I am so fired. <sighs> Man, kid, you're lucky to be alive. You get hit by a bus. Most people don't survive that. But you did, and I, I think that's just neat. Hey, Cody. Hey, dude. Mm, thanks for coming, guys. Ow, never mind. It was a fly. I didn't want it to bite you. Yeah, that fly was really going to hurt me. How you feeling, Cody? Oh, I feel just peachy, Junior. You know, I feel like I got run over by a bus. Oh, I know what you're talking about. When I have the flu, I feel just like that. Right? But I actually did get run over by a bus. We know, Cody. Stop bragging about it. Stop being dramatic. Yeah, you make it your whole identity. Ooh, I was the guy I got ran over by a bus. We know. <sighs> Guys, my life sucks. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does, Junior. I got hit by a bus. What would you rather got hit by? A train or a bus? Ooh, tricky question. Well, I guess if I get hit by a train, I would have died, so I'll take the bus. See, look, you got hit by what you wanted. What? I didn't choose this. Yeah, yes, you did. I said a bus or a train. You chose a bus. Uh, ju junior, if I could move, I'd hit you. Cody, tell your friends to leave. It's time to insert your catheter. No, I want them to watch. What's a catheter? It's a needle that goes in your pee hole. Ew! Hell yeah, it is. And I want the man to do it. It's hot. Um... You know what? Actually, on second thought, you don't even need a catheter. You're, you're ready to be discharged. You can go home now. I can't believe you were hit by that bus. You know, if you were to sue the school, you'd make a lot of money. But, but yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm going to sue this school. Ow, Junior, why? Well, there's a fly. What? How many flies are there in this goddamn hospital? What, you said you're going to sue the school? Yes, I'm going to sue the school because they own the school bus. And now I'm going to sue them. Oh, oh, okay, uh, do you want us to pick you up and take you home? Yeah, just drag me home. Uh, ow. Oh, the fly! Ow, ow, ow! Oh, it flies! Uh, just put me down gentle. Ow! So, Cody, how much money are you going to sue the school for? Uh, I was thinking five million dollars. Five million dollars?! You're asking for a lot, dude! That's a lot of gravy! Yeah, well, my insides are mashed potatoes from where the bus ran me over. <laughs> Besides, I need that money for my pain and suffering, and I didn't even get my catheter, so what's the point? Aren't you just happy to be alive? No, I want money! Cody, let's play basketball. I bet you'll feel better after that. I can't. Why, because I'll beat you, huh? But, huh? No. Go no, ahead and say it! No, Admit it! It's because I'm in a full body cast and I can't move. Well, you guys, if you need me, I'm gonna be on the basketball court dunking. I think you're just scared, Cody. Uh, Junior! There's someone at the door! C can you go get it? Junior, I'm in a full body cast. But I have an ingrown toenail and it hurts. Junior! Okay, fine, I'll get it. Hello? Is Cody here? Yeah, his tracker isn't working. We put a tracker in his booty and it went offline a few hours ago. And we paid good money for that tracker, so tell me where our son is. If he took that tracker out, I'm gonna be one mad mama bear. You know what? I think it's pretty racist that they call black bears black bears because the color of their fur. And they call white bears polar bears. We should sign a petition to be called polar bears cracker barrels. I think there's a restaurant called that. No, that's cracker barrel, baby. Oh. And that's pretty racist too. I think we need a black barrel. Well, Cody's upstairs. Well, we're coming in. Yeah! Here's Cody. Oh my god, Cody, my baby, what happened to you? You better ain't got beat up by no girl, because if you did, I'm going to laugh at you. Ha! No, I got run over by a bus. Oh my god, Cody, I told you those cartoons were dangerous. That Miss Frizzle and her magic school bus are a bad influence. Why didn't you look both ways before crossing the street? You know you're supposed to be like the chicken that crossed the road. I did look both ways. I just got caught in the door of the bus, and then it dragged me around for a while before running me over. Excuses, excuses. Cody said he's going to sue the school for $5 million. He what now? Baby, I didn't know you gave birth to a cow. A cash cow. <laughs> well, I mean, she's a big fat cow, so obviously she'd give birth to a cow. Cody, we're going to sue the school, and then we're going to take this to the news, and you're going to buy mommy some new cans. And I'm going to get unsnipped. You're going to have a little brother. <laughs> Come on, Cody. Let's go get you the best lawyer we can. So I reviewed your case. So what do you think? What do I think? I'll tell you. You mind holding this for me for a uh, second? Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you. I think it's gonna be a slam dunk. You guys are about to get paid. I'm gonna win no matter what. I could go into the courtroom with my wiener in my hand and I'd still win. Please do. You know what? I think I might. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Boober. And today we will be hearing the case of Cody Natchez versus the OIU Dumb Elementary School. Cody is suing the school for five million dollars for running him over with a school bus. Plaintiff, proceed with your proceedings. Thank you, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, imagine this. Your son just got done eating breakfast and he waves goodbye. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. I'm on my way to school. He walks out the door and walks to the bus stop. He finally gets there and he's waiting for the bus to arrive. And out of nowhere, BAM! He gets hit by a bus and he's left on the side of the road to die. 
Look, he looks like a mummy, and he was left on the side of the road crying for his mummy. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, I'm done with my proceedings. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo. A very sad story indeed. Defendant, how do you defend your actions? Oh, it's my turn. Okay, man, don't worry. I'm going to win this case in my opening statement. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, my client is clearly Chinese. A simple eye test will show that. And being Chinese, he's, you know, unfamiliar with American traffic laws. But, you know, Chinese, Japanese, dirty knees, look at these. We're all human. We all make mistakes. You know, so what if he does make joke and pee-pee in your coke? I think he still deserves a second chance at the American dream. I rest my case. Hmm, I see. Plaintiff! How do you respond? Guilty. We're not at that part yet. How do you respond to what he said? Oh, well, here is a photograph of my client before he was hit by a bus. Just look at him. A normal, ugly looking child. And now look at him! A hideous freak of nature! Unrecognizable! Looking like that, he will never get married and he'll never have a job. But five million dollars will make him very rich, because women love money. I'm gay. Men love money, too. That's all I have to say. I agree, we all love money. <laughs> Defendant? Defend. Oh yeah? Well, I can use pictures, too. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the court, can you tell me what this is? Oh, those are egg rolls! That's right, these are egg rolls. And this is what my client ate on the day he ran over the kid. Now, ladies and gentlemen, can you tell me what ingredients are in egg rolls? Hmm? Anybody? Well, neither can I. So how do we know that the ingredients of this egg roll did not cause my client to not realize that he was dragging a kid on his school bus for miles while he yelled for help and then run him over? Hmm? We don't know that. Which is why I think we should be investigating the egg roll company, huh? H how do we know the egg roll company doesn't have some kind of chemical in there that, that, that causes memory loss that could have caused this to happen, hmm? Actually, my wife Ring Ring made the egg rolls from scratch. Okay, well, his wife made the egg rolls, but I think we should investigate his wife. H how do we know this wasn't intentional? Maybe she took out an insurance policy on him and was hoping he crashed his bus. Hmm, I think we should look into that. So suck it. Suck it, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm, very good points. Hmm. Plaintiff, continue with your plaintiffing. Your Honor, my client is suffering from irreversible physical and psychological damage. He is afraid of school buses, something I like to call school busophobia. Allow me to demonstrate. All right, Cody, just like we practiced. Ah! See, he screamed at the very top of his lungs at the sight of a school bus, something that is supposed to carry him safely to and from school. How is my client supposed to get a quality education if he's afraid of school buses? my case, Your Honor. That is very troubling to see. That will be very hard to defend against defendant, but I dare you to try. Oh man, I am sweating bullets. I, uh, I didn't print out any other pictures, but uh, hey, can I borrow that picture of that bus? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, do you see this bus? This is not a picture of the bus that ran over the plaintiff. This is a stock photo of a bus. So why would he scream at a stock photo? He should only scream at a picture of the real bus. So I think he's faking it. I think he doesn't have any injuries. I, I mean, obviously he has physical injuries, but I think he doesn't have any psychological injuries. You know, I knew somebody who got run over by a bus, and he didn't bitch about it this much. I, I mean, he died, but your honor, I object on the grounds that the plaintiff is being a little bitch about this whole thing. He should just be happy he's alive. I agree. He is lucky to be alive. Plaintiff! It is your tiff to plaint. Your Honor, I would like to call a witness. It's one of Cody's friends who was there that day and saw the whole thing. Junior, do you mind coming up here, please? What do I do? Could you just tell us everything that happened the day that Cody was hit by a bus? Yeah, so we were all getting on the bus, and Cody thought it would be cute to like ride under the bus and hang onto it like a monkey. Well, no, I didn't. I got stuck in the door. Well, look, all I saw is when I looked out the window, he was hanging onto the bus screaming, Wee, look at me! Well, no, I was saying, help me, stop the bus! Well, he talked about this for weeks before he did it. I object to my own witness! Get the hell out of here! Why did we even call him in here? I don't know. I thought he was my friend. Hmm, how incriminating. Defendant, 
Do your thing. No, 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 no. H hold on. I want his witness. I want to talk to you. What's up? Well, you said he did all this on purpose? I mean, he had to. Why else would he be underneath the bus while it was moving? I mean, he had plenty of time to get on when we all got on. No, I was picking up a quarter I found on the ground and my arm got caught in the door. Aha! He was bending over to pick up a quarter off the ground. This just shows that he was in it for the money all along. Who even bends over to pick up a quarter, huh? Who even uses quarters? They're worthless. This shows he was so desperate for money and that's why he's asking for such an egregious amount. I also asked him would he rather get hit by a train or a bus and he chose bus. Aha! He chose this. My client was simply doing what he was asked to do. Mmm, this is getting juicy. Plaintiff, I can't wait to hear your response. Your Honor, are you really going to believe this crap? No one really wants to be hit by a bus. Let's look at the facts here. My client was hit by a bus, and the driver was Chinese. I would like to call in one more witness to the case, the client's mother. Judy, do you mind coming up here, please? Oh, the judge is hot. All right, listen to me. Focus. You are Cody Nutkiss's mother, correct? I think so. After he was born and they took him to the nursery, all the babies fell over, and there was just a big pile of babies and they said take one and go home so I did but I'm pretty sure he's mine okay now as Cody's mother is this what you wanted for your child to be brutally struck down in the street by a bus oh no I thought it would always be way cooler if he died in a plane crash then there'd be a whole news article about it see your honor not what the client's mother wanted Ooh, that judge is really hot can I go home with you <laughs> motion granted Yes, Daddy. <laughs> Cody wins. <laughs> yes! Yes! I won! I got five million dollars! I did it! I did it! Oh, 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 oh. oh come on! That, that's not fair! I, I have a wife! You, you can have her if we can win! I'm sorry, man. I tried. Oh, it's okay. You want to come back to my house? My wife's making egg rolls. Hell yeah! So I won your court case. You are the best lawyer ever! I know. Well, technically my mom won the case because she slept with the judge. As she should. He's a very beautiful man. Well, the good news is the $5 million has already cleared my bank account. And after removing necessary court fees and my attorney fees, this is what you're left with. What, a quarter? Wait, we supposed to get millions! Well, let me break it down for you. So, my consultation fee is $2 million, my attorney retainer fee is $1 million, and my court fees are another $2 million. So that ate up your $5 million. You should be lucky you're even getting this quarter. But I get hit by a bus! Well, you also got hit with court fees. Hey, do you mind holding this up for me again? Uh, sure, hold on. Swish. Guys, I'm so hungry. Yeah, I can't wait to eat my turkey panini. And I can't wait to eat my ham and bacon sandwich. Damn, chicken! Chicken and mashed potatoes! Oh, those mashed taters. Oh, you know those mashed taters. Oh, give me some of them taters. Oh, you take some of my mashed taters? What's wrong with you trying to tell my mashed taters? No, oh, I love taters. Give me them taters. Cody, you can't have any of Joseph's taters. Uh, okay. All right, guys, let's eat our food. <laughs> chicken! Uh, oh, I'm so full. Uh, uh, Beep! Oh man, that was a good panine. Cody, you didn't even burp. Uh, yes, I did. Didn't you hear it? You just said the word burp. Uh, okay, look, I can't burp, okay? It's a gastrointestinal problem. Oh. Joseph, do you like your chicken? Oh man, I love my chicken. I tore that thing off! Joseph, why are you talking like that? So what do you guys want to do for the rest of the day? Ooh, dude, let's play a game! Oh yeah, let's play pickleball. You suck ass at pickleball, Cody. What? You're such a dick, Junior. You're a dick. Yeah, well, you know what they say. You are what you eat. Ah! You're a turkey! Junior, you're a pig! Oh, Joseph, you're a chicken! Dude, you're Cody's mom! I guess I am Cody's mom. Oi, 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 oi! Guys, shut up! We don't have time to make fun of my mom! This is a problem! We're animals! Well, what do you think happened? I don't know! Wait, wait a minute. Cody, you said you are what you eat! I was making a wiener joke, Junior. If anything, I should be a wiener. But what if when you said you are what you eat, it turned us into what we ate? Because I ate a ham sandwich! Oh, and I ate turkey! Dude, I ate a chicken! Wait, that wouldn't make any sense, because I didn't eat big, fat whale, so I'm not Cody's mom. What, Junior, shut up! We have to figure this out! So should we call a doctor? Well, yeah, I'll get my phone. Hold on. Uh, uh, just... Uh, damn it, it's really hard to type in the numbers with my beak. Uh, I'll help, I'll help. <laughs> 
Hey there, somebody call an adorable doctor? You're a cat! Yeah, I know. I don't really know what happened. Well, my friend said, you are what you eat, and then we turn into the things that we ate. Oh, so it's like some kind of curse. Yeah, so why are you a cat? Well, I mean, I am an OBGYN, and I didn't wash my hands before eating, and I licked my fingers. Of course, I was eating Chinese food, so it could be either one. So do you know what we can do about this? This literally just happened, and it seems like some kind of magic, so no. I can actually do less now that I'm a cat. So we're just gonna be animals forever? <laughs> <laughs> what? So, sorry, I... Look, I've never been able to lick my balls before, so I've just been going to town, and I guess I have a hairball now. <laughs> Hold on. <coughs> oh, oh, that is much better. Sorry about that. You see that? That is cat ball hair. So what are we gonna do now? I have no idea. Wait a minute, Cody. You said you are what you eat. So what if you said we aren't what we eat, and we go back to normal? Um, okay. You know, you know what they always say? You're not what you eat. Yeah, that didn't work. Maybe because that's not like a saying that people actually say. Like, obviously you're not what you eat, duh. So we're gonna be animals for the rest of our lives? Yeah, I guess so. Wait, you have nine lives. Oh, that's right! Hell yeah! Oh, I can lick my own balls and I can die nine times? That's awesome! I'm gonna go run in front of a car. I'll see you guys later. Oh man, I wish I could lick my own balls. So guys, what are we gonna do? The news! Breaking news! It's me, Steve Squirrelberger. I got hit by a car on the way over here. Everybody in the world has turned into an animal for some reason. I was eating a squirrel burger, and now I'm a squirrel. Cody, you turned everyone in the world into an animal. Well, how was I supposed to know that was going to happen? I'm not the first person to ever say that. Oh, what are we going to do? What do you think Chef Pee, Pee turned into? Probably a burnt casserole because he burns all his food. Ooh, let's go see, bro. Yeah, let's go see. Mm-mm-mm! I can't okay. wait to eat my scrambled eggs! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, Junior, Chef Pee Pee's right there! How is he still a human? I guess he hasn't eaten yet. Dude, he's about to eat scrambled eggs right now! We need to stop him! Okay! <laughs> Chef Pee Pee! No! Dude, Chef Pee Pee, no! Is that a pig? Well, get out of here, pig! I'm trying to eat my scrambled egg! <laughs> wait, what? You turn into what you ate, Chef BB. Junior? Is that you? You're a pig? How did you turn into a pig? Because we are what we eat, and you turn into a chick. Wait, wait, I don't have boobs nor a vagina, Junior. No, you didn't turn into like a girl chick, you turned into a baby chicken. Wait, why would I turn into a baby chicken? Because you ate eggs, you are what you eat. Oh, that's so stupid and lame, Junior. Figure this out. What, 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 what happened? I, I don't know. It's like a curse that everyone turned into animals. You better turn us back right now, Junior. Figure this out. Well, it's not my fault. We're, we're gonna figure it out. Just hold on, Chef BB. Guys, I wasn't able to stop Chef Pee Pee from turning into a chick. Well, maybe if you didn't jump in slow motion, you would have gotten there in time. Yeah, it took you forever, dude. I was just being dramatic. Yeah. So guys, what are we gonna do? We're animals! I don't know, Junior. I don't even have thumbs. This sucks. <gasps> do you think my dad turned into an animal? Oh, Junior, you should check and see if he's still human. You need to stop him. Okay! Dad, Dad, Dad! Oh my God, I must be tripping balls right now because Wilbur from Charlotte's Web is talking to me in my room! Man, that's some pig. No, Dad, it's me, Junior. Wait, Junior, you're a pig? What happened to you? I don't know, but why are you a frog? I don't know, I was in here watching TV eating frog legs and then next thing you know, I'm a frog. Why do you eat frog legs, Dad? Uh, don't judge me, look, it tastes like chicken. That's gross. It's good, look, don't knock it until you try it. What? Ew, Dad. Weirdo. Oink. Was that a good oink or a bad oink? A bad oink. So is your dad human? No, he's a frog. Your dad eats frogs? He eats frog legs. Huh, never tried him. So what are we gonna do, Cody? We're animals! We can't be animals forever! I don't know. We don't know anyone else that's human. Oh my god, Junior, stop Cookie Monster! Huh? Cookie! No! Oh, Cookie no, Monster! No, Please no. no! Oh, I oh, God, no! I can't even watch! Oh. Jesus! Oh, man, he turned into a cookie. Damn it, Cookie Monster. Damn you and your love of cookies. Oh, he was so innocent, dude. He's a cookie, though. That's what he would have wanted. Okay, Cody, listen, we got to think of a way to fix this. You're the one who caused this with your stupid saying. Ooh, I have an idea. Okay, I, I said you are what you eat, right? Okay, so if we eat a human, that means we'll turn back into a human, right? <gasps> yeah, if we eat a human, we'll turn back into humans. Yeah. Well, we don't know anyone that's still human, though. Yeah, we have to find a human that hasn't eaten today. <gasps> a homeless man! Yeah, homeless people don't eat anything! They never eat, dude! Yeah, so let's go outside and find a homeless man and eat him! Yeah, okay. Uh, let's go! <laughs> guys, 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 I found a homeless man over here! Oh, cool, let's eat him! <laughs> Turkey pig chicken. Uh, Cody, you go first. No, Junior, you go first. Okay, where do I even start? Uh... Ow, bad piggy. 
I tried biting his fingers. Dude, you gotta rip his arm off. Ugh, look, watch this. Ow, bad chicken. Ow, ow. Okay, cool. you know what? I think we should go inside and do this because I don't want people seeing us murder this man. Yeah, yeah. this could get messy. All right, all right, let's take him inside. <laughs> all right, so we're in the privacy of our own home, so now we can eat him. Uh, okay, Junior, go. Uh, I'm gonna try his ear this time. <laughs> Oh my god, Junior, you ripped his ear off. I don't like that he screamed ow. He's gonna scream ow, Junior, you just ripped his ear off. All right, Cody, you try to eat him. Okay, I guess I'll try down here. Oh god, Junior, he smells like shit. Pee pee in my pants. Oh, Junior, he peed his pants. I'm not eating him. This is gross. Dude, I'll eat him. No, I don't like trying to eat him, and who knows what kind of diseases he has. Yeah. All right, you know what? I'm gonna try his fingers one more time. Ow. Okay, you know what? Go, get out of here. <gasps> That's food, dude. Junior, I guess we're just not capable of eating a person. Yeah, it's just way too sad. Let's try something else. Oh, guys, look how late it is. We have to go to school tomorrow. Uh, let's just figure it out then. All right, I'll see you guys at school tomorrow. Yeah. Oh. Man, it's raining really bad outside. Hey, Penelope, or should I say Barackla P? Shut up! Junior, yes, I'm a piece of broccoli. I had broccoli for dinner last night, and I woke up this morning, and I was a piece of broccoli. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry? What? Is this your fault? Yeah, I said you are what you eat, and now we are. Oh, so you had some turkey, I'm guessing? Yeah. And before you guess, no, I did not eat Cody's mom. It would have been a good guess, though. Oh, of course you had chicken. What's that supposed to mean, Penelope? All right, Cross. So last night when I was eating dinner, I turned into a dog. I don't know why. But since we're all animals, you can all go home. No class today. Yay! No school today! <laughs> oink, 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 oink! Guys, school's out already! Oh, dude, we can go home and have fun! What fun can we have? We're animals. Let's go to my house and see if we can figure out how to be humans again. All right, guys, how are we going to become humans again? Junior, you keep asking that, but we don't have answers. Because I don't know what to do. Hey there. Who are you? Oh, uh, I'm Brooklyn guy. I, I I was a cat, but I'm not anymore because I ate Stuart Little. You ate Stuart Little? Yeah, I saw him driving around in his little car, and I thought, if I eat him, I'll become him. So I ate him, and now I am him. I'm him. Himothy. Himmy Johns. Himmy Neutron. Himmy Hoffa. Himmy Kimmel. Himmy Turner. I, I'm, I'm him. I'm him. So what happened when you ate him? Oh, it was pretty graphic. I mean, I snapped his little neck with my teeth. There was blood everywhere. It, it was brutal. But hey, I'm him. Well... Do you think you can help us become humans again? Well, I think so, now that I can walk around and stuff. So what's your solution? Uh, well, have you tried eating a human? We tried eating a homeless man, but it was really sad. He kept screaming, ow, I ripped his ear off. <laughs> you should have let me do it. I'm capable of some pretty terrible things, apparently. <sighs> I don't know what to do. Cody, this is all your fault. You're the one that made all this happen. Well, I'm sorry, Junior. I'm only human. <laughs> Cody, you're human again! Well, I am? Oh my god, I am! Well, how'd that happen? Well, I guess what I said, I'm only human, I actually became human. Wait, so all we have to do is say that saying and we'll all be humans again? Yeah, I think we should try it. All right, let's all say it together. I'm, I'm only, only human. human. <laughs> we're all humans! Dude, we're all humans again! Destroy all humans. That was, that was a cool game. And destroy all humans too. That was awesome. You play as a little alien guy, you know? That was great. Anybody play that? You're still wearing Stuart Little's clothes. Yeah, yeah, and I like this shirt. I think I'm gonna keep this. Screw Stuart Little. I wonder if I'm gonna poop him out later. Oh, hold on. Ugh. Ugh. Man, I can't lick my balls anymore. Oh, wait, hold on. So how are we gonna get the whole world to turn back into humans? They all have to say it. Oh, I'll just hold a press conference on the news and tell everybody to say I'm only human, and that'll turn everybody back. That's a good idea. But before you do that, there's something I gotta do. Okay. <laughs> What are you doing? Get off her! I'm eating broccoli! Oh, I'm doing chill, it. chill! Kill me! Wait, that guy's still running around? What the hell is going on? Be careful, dude. Don't knock it down. Oh, I, I got I got I got it. Okay, that was easy. Watch this, dude. Why are you uh, pushing it? Uh, just pull it inward. Whoa! What the hell, dude? Cody, what was that about? What, what? I just said just pull it inward. That, oh, I said it again! You're calling Jonah the N-word. No, no, I mean like bring it inward. Oh, you want me to bring it? I'll bring it. Put your hands up. Let's fight. What, no, I don't want to fight. I you said to... you said bring it inward. Yeah, you said bring it. So I'm going to bring it. Nah. 
Uh, let's go! No, I don't want to fight. That's not even what I said. You're calling JoJo the N-word like it's nothing. You being blatantly racist, dude. Yeah. I, I mean, like, N-word. Like, we know what you mean. We heard you seven times. The eight times doesn't make it less racist. Wait, you, you keep saying the N-word. Cody, stop saying it. No, it's a different word. We know what you're saying. You're implying it by saying N-word. Wait, you think you get to say it? Is that it? You think you, think you get to say it, Cody? No, no. Okay, look, it, it's a different word. I'll spell it. Wait, wait, no, no, oh, no, no. We don't need you to spell it out. We know how to spell. Well, you're going to spell it with an E-R or an A. Well, I mean, there is an A in it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He, you think he's cool. He's gonna be like, oh, rappers say it that way, I can say it. Nah, way. it's still racist, Cody. Well, no, 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 there's an R, too. Oh, wow! Oh, wow! He wants to use the hard R. Wow! No, no, okay, it's spelled I N W A R D. Wow, he's stupid and doesn't know how to spell it. And he's racist! Yeah, you don't even know how to spell the N word, so why are you saying it if you don't know how to spell it? What? No, it's a completely different word. Cody, well, we, we get it. We understand that you're not actually saying the N word, but you're still saying N word. We know what you mean. Yeah! No, no, no it's a different word. You don't understand. Okay, okay, how about this? Uh, what's the opposite of outward? Uh, inside, right? Yeah, uh, inside. In the house. No, there's a word for that, and the word is inward. Oh, wow! Everything just inward to you? Who ra who raised you? What, no, no. Obviously the clan, dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, guys, guys, I don't know how to explain this. Uh, hold on, let me get a dictionary and show you. A dictionary? We don't need a dictionary to see your racism! Okay, I got the dictionary. What is that supposed to prove? We already know you're racist. What, just look right here, please. It says inward or inwards. Oh, multiple n****s? So insulting me isn't good enough. You gotta insult the whole race? Wow, Cody. Well, no, just look at the definition. It says toward the inside, center, or inner being. It could also be inwardly. Oh, so I'm acting n***ly to you? Oh, if I go downstairs and get a cup of Kool-Aid, I'm acting n***ly? Well, no, it's in the dictionary. Cool, you're trying to think of new creative ways to say the N-word. It's still racist. Oh, I bet crackers in the dictionary. Look it up. Well, the food probably is. Cody, I've never seen someone go this far to defend themselves saying the N-word. Like, PewDiePie didn't pull out a dictionary. What, okay, guys, whatever. Can, can we just forget this ever happened? Oh, you want me to forget you said it? Like we forgot about slavery, huh? Huh? No, I just want to go back to playing Jenga. Junior, Junior, dude, look. White people always forget, dude. They always want to forget. Yeah, Cody, we're never going to forget this. You literally just called him literally a racist name. Okay, can we just please play Jenga? Okay, okay, then. We can. Go, white boy. Go, pull all your piece, whitey. Come on, cracker. Go. It's not even my turn. Oh, yes, it is. Go, dude. Well, actually, it's my turn. But you know what? I give up my turn. It's Joseph's turn now. Okay, yeah, yeah. Tell me how you want me to pull it, master. I'm all yours. Tell me. Tell me. I'm your slave. Okay, just, just pull it toward you. Oh, okay. I'll pull it towards me. <laughs> What? You, you, you didn't call him the bad word. Dude, I swear. I knew he was going to call me a dumb N-word. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you were just seething at the teeth. You were like, what, well, you wanted to yell something racist oh, at him. Oh, it was on the tip of his tongue, dude. Well, I didn't even think about it. Wow, well, you didn't even think about it, but you wanted to say it. He wanted to, dude. It's so bad. No, I didn't leave. I didn't want to. Okay, you know what? Let's just go downstairs and see if Chef PB made us dinner. Yeah, all this racism is making me hungry. Chef PB, we're hungry. Look in front of you. I got you KFC and it's already on the plate. You're welcome. KFC? Oh, no. What's wrong, Cody? Aren't you hungry? Yes, I am. I I just, I know you're gonna yell at me the whole time. Why would I yell at you? This food is perfectly fine, right? Yes, it is. Oh, you don't think it's funny that I'm eating it, huh? Huh? Stereotypes? But no, not at all. Okay, okay. Uh, Junior, can you pass me the gravy? Oh, dude, I'm surprised she actually wants it. You know it's brown, right? Yes, that's fine. Cody, I'm not gonna pass it to you because you're racist. <sighs> Joseph, can you please pass me the gravy? Oh, dude, he actually called me by my name! I'm actually Joseph today, and not three-fifths of him, or boy, or N-word. Can you believe this, dude? Wow, well, Cody, congratulations for actually calling him by his name. Uh, okay, fine, I'll get it myself, Jesus. He didn't want you touching it, Joseph. Yeah, I would've tainted it or sullied it, right? Okay, you know what, guys, I'm not hungry anymore. I'm going upstairs. <laughs> More chicken for me, or is that too inwardly to say, huh, huh? <sighs> Oh, dude, I am stuffed. Yeah, me too, Joseph. What, Cody, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just coloring. It helps with my anxiety. Wow! What? Dude, you color the Little Mermaid white. She's black now. Come on! Yeah, Cody, you know the Little Mermaid's black now. Well, I, I was just thinking of the cartoon. You were thinking of the white one, the only right one in your mind. Chloe Bailey's the new Little Mermaid. You have a brown crayon right here. You could have colored her brown. Yeah, Cody, why didn't you grab this crayon right here? Well, this is just the one I was thinking of. Because you think there's only one race, and that's white. You're so mad they casted a black woman to be a Little Mermaid. Dude, I bet he's pissed. Yeah, he loses sleep at night over it. Well, no, I don't care. Guys, what what do I have to do to prove I'm not racist? Uh, read this crayon right here. What does it say? Yeah, what color is this crayon, Cody? Uh, black? No, 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 the second word. What is the Spanish word? Yeah, what's the Spanish word for black, Cody? Why would I say that? I don't speak Spanish. But you speak racist, though. Well, you don't want me to read the French one, noir. Well, okay, then say the Spanish one. Say it so clean. Say, say it so fluently like you just said the French one. Yeah, what? easily. Come on. No, I'm not gonna say that. Why? Because it's a bad word? Well, yeah, kind of. Kind, kind of? Kind of? Oh, yeah. Come on! Cody, you know it's a bad word. The N-word's a bad word. That's what we're trying to teach you. It's a bad word. So if you say the Spanish version, that's a bad word, right? But it's not a bad word in Spanish. That's just what their word is for black. Then say it! Well, I'm not gonna say it. You guys are gonna get mad. Yeah, because it's a bad 
were, Cody. Yeah, come on, Cody, say it. Please, guys, what can I do to prove I'm not racist? Well, first of all, you can apologize to Joseph. Yeah, my whole race. Okay, I'm really sorry, Joseph. That's not enough. That's not good enough. Okay, how about this, Cody? We're going to ask you a few questions, and if he answers them non-racist, then you're not a racist. Yeah, prove you're not a racist, dude. Okay. All right, Cody. Who's your favorite king in history? What, my favorite king? Yeah, you know, like in Egypt, like King Tut. King James. Yeah, King Louis. Um, I mean, King Tut's pretty cool. Wow! What? You didn't choose Martin Luther King? We laid it out there for you, dude! Come on, he's not really a king. Whoa! What? Did you hear that? Did you hear that, dude? I heard it! Martin Luther King is a real king. All men are kings. Yes! So, yeah, yeah, you're, you're so strong, king. Stay strong, king. Love yourself, king! Yeah, Cody. I thought you meant like a king with a kingdom. He is a king with a kingdom, the black kingdom! Yes! What? He, he had a dream, Cody. He gave all black people dreams. You're just mad because you never had a dream, dude. Wow, Cody, you didn't choose the right king. Well, guys, I don't really... Can I just do the next question, please? Okay, who's your favorite president? Uh, Obama? Wow! What? What you now? You didn't say Lincoln, the one that freed Obama? Well, yeah, wow, well, Cody. Well, come on, I picked the one black one. The one the black, black one? one? Well, he's the only one. Because the people like you who don't vote for black people. The what? people that can't change, I'm, you. I'm not even old enough to vote. Okay, Cody. During Halloween, what color cat is bad luck? Oh, come on. That's right, Cody. He knows it's not a Persian cat. Yeah, he knows it's not a white cat. Mm -mm. You already know the answer to this. Well, I don't, I forgot. Ah, tell me. I don't know the answer. Tell me, please. What? Okay, well, some people, not me, believe that black cats are better. Wow! Black cats, wow, he said it! Wow! You went there! You, you, you could have said a dark colored cat, but you said black. Not white, not gray, black. All he sees is black and white, Joseph. Mm -mm, Come on, guys, I, I didn't invent the superstition. No, no, you mean stereotype. Yeah, stereotype, that's exactly what it is. You, if think, I went, you, you don't think I can swim? Is that your stereotype now? What, what? No, I've seen you swim. Oh, wow. You know what, Joseph, let's just ignore him. Yeah. What? I'm going to ignore him. Mm -hmm. All right, fine, I guess I'll just play Clash of Clans. Whoa! Clash of Clans! I knew he was oh, a member, on. dude. Well, well, why are the clans fighting? They all hate the same thing. They all racist, come on! Well, it's not even spelled like that. Wow, Cody, everything you're saying, you know what, Joseph, I think you should just leave before he blows up on you. Yeah, yeah, I'm leaving. I can't have enough of this. Yeah, yeah, he keeps, he's gonna yell some racist names at you. Well, no, I'm not. J Junior, Junior, be honest. You're screwing with me, right? You know I'm not racist, right? Cody, did you get, like, a new pair of glasses and just realize we have a black friend? But no, I don't have any problems with Joseph. Because, like, Cody, like, you, we've hung out with him for years and you've never been this blatantly racist. But I know he's black, it's fine. Cody, Cody, I, I, I don't know if we can be friends anymore because of how racist you are. What? I mean, you only have one black friend. I don't even know if he's your friend anymore. Like, you don't have any other black friends. <coughs> Let me see who that is. Mm. Hello? Hey there, we're here to pick up our son Cody. It's family bath night. Yeah, we all bathe in one tub. Mm-hmm, we do it to save water. Yeah, it's like a gumbo a stench. Cody still poops in the bath. But we use the poop as like a little tugboat when we play him. Oh, he's upstairs. What's wrong? Cody said something bad today. Wait, what did he say? LeBron's not the GOAT? Ooh, what? if he ever say that, I'm gonna beat his ass. Kinda something like that. Ooh, show me where he's at right now! What did you say about LeBron? What? Cody, you know damn well LeBron James is the GOAT. I don't care if he had to be on three teams to win, he's still the GOAT. But I don't know what you guys are talking about. Cody, your friend here said you said something bad. Junior, please don't tell them what I said. They're not gonna understand just like you didn't understand, and they're gonna be even more mad. Cody, I think they need to know you're racist. Junior, no! Guys, today Cody said the N-word 30 times. Whoa! You don't get to say that! You don't get no N-word pass! You think because I'm your daddy you got an N-word pass? No, sir. You didn't come from this nutsack. You don't get to say it. But I didn't even say the N-word. I said N-word. Whoa! He says that again. Cody, we did not raise you to be a bigot. And it was the way he said it, too. Today we were playing Jenga, but it turned to Django. Because we were playing with our black friend Joseph, and he was taking too long on his turn. And Cody yelled, just pull it, N-word. Whoa! So you giving orders now? You think you're a slave master? Is that it? No, no, no guys, I didn't... Guys, what can I do for everyone to please just stop being mad at me? Hmm. Cody, I think you need to apologize to your friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And write a 10-page paper on Black History Month and apologize to your friend. Okay, I will. Okay, you better. And be home in 30 minutes, because it's family bath night. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. I have to poop. Well, hold it until you get home. I will. All right, I'm going to get Joseph, Cody. Okay. Dude, what am I doing here near this racist? This racist has something to say to you. Oh, what kind of slur do you have for me now? Uh, Joseph, I just want to say that I'm very sorry for saying that word, and I will never say that word or any word even remotely like that word ever again, and I'm sorry for offending you. Wow, dude, he actually owned up to it. Yeah, I know. All day he was trying to defend it by pulling out the dictionary and all this stuff, but he finally admit that he said it and that he was sorry. Well, I apologized earlier, but I'll apologize again, so I'm sorry. Dude, I think he changed. Yeah, he finally changed. Racist can be changed back to normal. Mm -hmm. So we can finally move on from this? Yeah, I guess so. All right, well, cool. Let's all sit down and watch some TV. Great. Yeah.
Did it just get darker in here? Wow! Oh. Since Joseph showed up, the room just got dark. What, I'm a black hole just absorbing all that light? Come yeah, on. yeah, come on, no, Cody. No, no, the light bulb just went out. Oh, now you're just making up excuses. Okay, screw you guys. I have a bathtub to go poop in. We thought you changed. Hey guys, what are you doing? Oh, Cody, did you know your mom's famous? Yeah, dude, they put her in a magazine twice. I didn't know your mom was a model. It's like a special coloring magazine where you get to color pictures of the models. Like, look, here's your mom waving her tail, and here's your mom just standing there. Oh, good. My mom's a hippo now. That's new. A big, fat hippo, because your mom's fat. No, I get it. And your mom's still a whale. Classic. Yeah, because she's a big, fat whale. Guys, I get it. Can we please do something else? Cody, why is your shirt so small? Oh, I got an extra small shirt to show off my abs. Here, peep them. Actually, this is a new shirt and it shrunk when my mom washed it, but it's still a good conversation starter. Cody, you have like a little black piece of something in your tooth. Wait, what? Yeah, like show me your tooth. Ah. Uh, yeah, you have like a little black dot, like a piece of pepper in your tooth. A piece of pepper? I haven't eaten any pepper today. Is it gone? Sure. Okay. You want to help us color a picture of your mom? No, guys, I said I want to do something else. Well, you can start by getting that piece of pepper out of your tooth. Wait, you said it was gone. Junior, stupid friends, lunch is ready. Oh, guys, Chef Evie said lunch is ready. Let's go eat. What, Junior, is there something in my tooth or not? Whoa, look at these sandwiches. Dude, Chef Evie did not make this. He got this off of Uber Eats, I can tell. Pardon my language, but pretty bitchin' lunch, Chef Pee Pee. A friggin' goag? What did I do to deserve this? And what's this? Cheez-Its? Don't mind if I do. Let me just light one of these joints up real quick. Damn it! What's wrong, Cody? I think the cheese it was too hot. It hurt my tooth. Cheese it's aren't hot. They have no temperature, Cody. Well, it hurt my tooth when I bit into it. Maybe it's that piece of pepper that's on your tooth. Wait, do I have something on my tooth or not? Yes. What? You said I didn't. I didn't want to talk about it anymore. What, what do you think it is? I don't know. Maybe a cavity. No, no, no. That's impossible, guys. It can't be a cavity. I brush my teeth two times a month. Once on the first and once on the fifteenth. I think you're supposed to brush your teeth two times a day. No, that would be ridiculous, Junior. That would waste too much toothpaste. All that toothpaste going down the drain would end up in the ocean. Fish don't have teeth. They don't need toothpaste. And dental floss that would choke a sea turtle. No, thank you. Well, you're supposed to brush your teeth every day, Cody. Well, cavemen didn't brush their teeth and they turned out fine. Cavemen died when they were like 20. Yeah, from like falling off a boulder and getting eaten by a bat, not their teeth. Okay, well, I don't know what to tell you, Cody. I'm gonna eat my sandwich. What, do you guys really think it's a, it's a cavity? I think it's a cavity, Cody. Well, that would be really bad, you guys. If my parents find out I have a cavity, they'll ground me and send me to Europe. Send you to Europe? Why? Well, they say that Europe is full of people who have bad teeth, and that's where people with bad teeth belong. So if they find out I have a cavity, they'll send me to Europe. Well, then we'll never see you again. I know. This is bad, guys. Okay, let's call a dentist and get your tooth fixed so your parents will never find out. Okay. Well, let me try one more of these Cheez-Its. Ah, damn it! Okay, fine, let's call this dentist. Come on. Hey there, somebody call a dentist? Yeah, Cody has a cavity. Hey, hey, nobody has a cavity until I say they have a cavity. I'm the dentist. I have a degree. Do you have a degree? No. That's what I thought. Now shut up. How's my breath smell? Smell like onions? I didn't want onions on my sandwich, but they put them on there anyway. Nobody ever listens to me. Hey, you, you like onions? No. Let me see your teeth. Okay. Those are actually pretty nice. Thank you. Okay, but nobody has a cavity until I say they do. Got it? Now say ah. Ah. Uh... Oh, no, that, that actually is a cavity. Sorry, you knew what you were talking about. Uh, are you sure you're not a dentist? I'm not a dentist. Do you want to be my dental assistant? You're pretty good at it. Yeah, sure. Okay, so what do you think we should do now? Uh, fix his cavity. Hmm, hmm, yes, I concur. Okay, so I could do one of two things here. I could use no pain meds and just drill right into your tooth, which would hurt really bad, but you'd be a badass. Or I could use pain meds and drill into your tooth, but you'd be a little bitch baby. I don't want to be a little bitch baby. Yeah, you don't want to be that, Cody. So no pain meds? No pain meds. Yes! Okay, but first we're going to have to bill your parents' insurance. No, 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 no. No, we can't tell my parents about this. Yeah, if his parents find out he has a cavity, they're going to send him to Europe. Yeah, he'll have to learn to say bonjour. That's France, Joseph, not Europe. Dude, that's still in Europe. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Guys, guys can we just focus here, please? Joseph's trying to say that Ratatouille was filmed in Europe. Well, it wasn't filmed anywhere. It was animated. It wasn't called Europea Tui. Well, it wasn't called France Tui either. It, it was just... called Ratatouille because there were rats, Cody. Well, I know that, but where it was filmed doesn't matter. It, it's all that matters. It was filmed in France. They were French. Wait, wait, which is in Europe. But no, yes. Y yes. Yes, it is. Yes. So shut up. Stop arguing about it, Cody. Wait. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <sighs> Never does. Uh, are, are we still talking about teeth here? Oh yeah, we gotta fix his cavity. So if, he don't, if we don't use the insurance, how much does it cost in cash? Oh, well, it's gonna cost about $1,000. $1,000? We don't have that kind of money. Well, the medical bills cost money. This ain't Europe. Oh, okay, well, what else do you suggest we do? Um, let me see those teeth again. Uh, well, they do kind of look like baby teeth. I, I think maybe I could probably pull them out. Then you could just say you lost it. But Cody, you still have baby teeth? Yeah, I hit puberty late. What? Okay, so how much will it cost to take the tooth out? It would still cost about $1,000. What? We don't have that kind of money! I'm sorry, but Dennis gotta make money somehow. Uh, I, I guess you guys could probably take it out on your own for free. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What, what's mm -hmm. going on? What, I don't know. This is weird. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. 
What the hell was that about, Junior? I was agreeing. I was like, we could take it out ourselves. We don't need him. Why didn't you just say that? Why were you being all secretive about it? I didn't want him to know because like, I didn't want him to get mad that we weren't going to use him. But why were you making such a big deal out of it? Just say Cody, it. Cody, how about this? We tie a string around your tooth. We slam a door. That tooth comes out. You just tell your parents you lost your tooth. Uh, okay. Anything did not go to Europe. Let's go. Okay, Cody. I have the string tied to this doorknob and your tooth. So when I slam this door, your tooth's going to come flying out. Okay. Did it come out? No, it just hit me with the door. I didn't slam it hard enough. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Ow! Did it work? No! Dude, let me try it. Ow! You guys are just beating me up with the door now. Oh, the door doesn't have enough horsepower to pull its tooth out. Wait, what? The door doesn't have enough horsepower to pull your tooth out. It doesn't have any horsepower. It's a door. Oh, we should use a car. That's right. No. Let's go use a car, Cody. What? Okay, Jeffy, this is what we need you to do. We have this string attached to your car all the way to Cody's tooth. When I say go, you floor it so it pulls his tooth out. Got it, Junior. All right, let's go tell Cody what's going on. Okay, dude. All right, Cody, when I yell go, Jeffy's gonna speed off and pull your tooth out with his car. Are you sure this is safe, Junior? Yeah, it's safe. I tied the string to the tire so all the power can pull your tooth out. What, the tire? Go, Jeffy! No, Junior! Stop! <laughs> Man, Cody, that tooth is really in there. Junior, I could have been killed. If that string hadn't broke, I would have gotten pulled under the tires and run over. Dude, I knew we should have used rope. Oh, yeah, rope would have been a lot stronger. No, we shouldn't have done it at all. Man, Cody, your face looks really bad. Yeah, my face really hurts from the road rash. I mean, it looks better than the freckles. Yeah, you look like Freddy Cougar. Cougar. That's what I said. No, no, you said Cougar. Cougar Tui? Ratatouille? What? What? No, guys, we need to get this tooth out somehow. Ooh, I, I got an idea. That isn't dangerous. Aw, I was going to say we push him out of a hot air balloon. Ooh, that would be awesome. How would they get the tooth out? When you hit the ground, your tooth would fly out. On oh, impact. Yeah. Guys, come up with something better. Ooh, Joseph, you see that weight over there? Grab it. Okay. Oh, you're going to like this one, Cody. It's going to work. Okay, so we tie a string around this weight, and then we throw it off a balcony, and then the string's attached to your tooth, and then the weight from the weight pulls the tooth out your mouth. Now, now that, that could work. Okay, let's do that. Okay, Cody, I'm gonna drop this weight off the balcony and the force of it should pull your tooth out, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. Yeah! Cody, did the tooth come out? No, I think I broke my nose. Dang it, dude, this tooth is persistent. You wanna try the weight one more time, Cody? No! Oh, I have no more ideas then. Ooh, I think I have an idea, dude, follow me. Oh, come on, Cody. I don't think I want to. Come on! Okay, Joseph, what's your plan? I hired a professional boxer to knock his teeth out. I mean, tooth out. Wait, which is it? Teeth or tooth? Tomato, tomato. No, no, it's not the same thing. One is more than the other. Yeah, I think you'd mean tomato, tomatoes. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, exactly, but I just want the tomato. Okay, you can eat after we fix your cavity. Wait, no, I mean the tooth. Has a cavity in it. We're gonna get it fixed. What? Just punch me. Okay, uh, where's the boxer at? Uh, he's here right now. Oh, what's up? I wanna get his teeth knocked out. Oh, he's right here. So, Cody, open your mouth. Uh, you see that tooth with a cavity in it? We want you to knock that tooth out. Okay, I'm not plenty of teeth out. This one gonna be a problem. All right, Cody, stand real still. All right, punch him. <laughs> oh, I connected that one. I connected that one. Oh, Cody, Cody you okay? <sighs> <laughs> he did it! He knocked my tooth out! Wait, why is there two? Junior, did he get it? Uh, he didn't knock out the tooth with the cavity. Wh what? That means he knocked out my two good teeth? They're obviously not that good if they came out that easily. Yeah, they're also yellow. I wouldn't say they're good teeth. I think that cavity is making your tooth stronger. Oh, this is stupid. Just hit me again! <laughs> <laughs> okay, did he get it? Uh, hit him again. <laughs> oh, how about now? It's still in there. Hit him again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he has to have gotten it, right? Uh, do it again. Uh, 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 you get it? And one more time. Uh, 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 I'm starting to enjoy this, Joseph. Oh, me too, dude. Do it again. Uh, Hit him as hard as you can. Uh, uh, it still didn't work. I can hit him again. No, just leave. Uh, actually, 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 one more time. All right. Uh, uh, oh, that tooth is still in there. Dude, I think that tooth made of steel or something. Yeah, I just, Cody, I don't know what to do. Uh, I think I should just tell my parents I have a cavity. What, you want to live in Europe? I guess he really wants to eat those frog legs, dude. Yeah, whatever they eat there. We have frog legs here. You just want to see the pyramids. What? That's in Egypt. The Great Wall. Yeah. China. Uh, all right, listen, Um, I have an idea. I have some old leftover fireworks from the 4th no, of July. No, I can just tie a string no, around your tooth no, and no, on a rocket. No, and no. Why? Because it's... 
it'll burn my face. A rocket won't burn your face. A rocket is really fast. So if I tie it to a rocket, a rocket will shoot up in the air and take your tooth to space. They're called fireworks. The fire will burn my face. Fireworks are really fast, Joseph. Yeah, they're really, really fast. Like the speed of light. You won't even feel it, dude. Yeah, it's so fast. Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. Come on. Oh, yeah. Okay, Cody, I tied a string around this rocket and around your tooth. So when I light the rocket, it's gonna fly in the air and pull your tooth out. You know, now that I'm actually looking at it, I don't think I wanna do this anymore. Come on, Cody, the worst thing that could happen is that the tooth does not come out and the rocket takes you into space and you go see Jupiter. <laughs> I'd rather see Uranus. <laughs> like, seriously, can we go to your room? Come on, Cody, you gotta do the rocket. I don't know, guys, I'm scared. Don't bitch out now. Yeah, you have big balls, Cody, I know you do. I mean, I have pretty average sized balls. Oh, come on, Look, are you gonna do it or not? Okay. Okay, let, let me light it. Joseph, back up. Okay, dude. Okay, Joseph, I lit it. Dude, this is gonna be so cool. He might die. I know. Yeah! Whoa! I don't think he went to space, dude. Uh, let's go inside. So, dude, now that Cody's dead, who's gonna be our third friend? I guess Jeffy. <laughs> what? Yeah. Cody, you're still alive? Damn, you still kicking, bro? Yeah. You were supposed to kill the Sith, not join them. Yeah. You're supposed to bring balance to the force, not leave it in darkness. I hate you. I hate you. Let me see your tooth, Cody. Yeah. It's still there. Not even the firework pulled it out. I almost died. But what'd you see? Did you see space? I didn't see anything. My face was on fire. All right, guys. I think I'm just gonna give up. What? Well, no, you can't give up. You have to go to Europe. Cody, I'm here to pick you up. Oh my God, Cody, what happened to you? Uh, he, he fell in the oven and it burned him up and then it accidentally burned a cavity into his tooth. Oh no, Cody, it's a good thing you didn't get that cavity from not brushing or else you'd have to go live in Europe. No, he didn't get it from not brushing. He got it because the oven burnt it into his tooth. That, uh -huh. Yep. Come on, Cody, let's go back home. We're gonna sue the oven company so mommy can get paid. Uh, okay. What's wrong, Joseph? We're just such good friends, dude! I know! I wish we had friends like us! I know. Oh, we're such good friends! We're so rare! Guys, what do you want to do today? Dude, 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 we gotta do the one chip challenge. The what? The one chip challenge. There's this one chip that's super high, but once you eat it, you're gonna spit it back up. It's so intense. You might cry, you might sweat, or even throw up, dude. It's that hot? Bro, it's that hot. We should all try it. Oh, 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 I got three of them. We're gonna try them today. Well, Cody, are you gonna try it? Guys, it's a potato chip. It's not that hot. Well, I wanna see you try it then. Okay, let's see what the pamphlet says. It says if you can last one minute, you're powerless. 10 minutes, you're powerful. 30 minutes, you're supercharged. In one hour, you're invincible. Dude, you're not gonna last 10 seconds. Guys, this is a kid's game. I'm a man. I can handle a potato chip. Then eat it, Cody. Yeah! Okay, fine, I will. Let's take a look at this stupid thing. It doesn't look that hot. Ow. It, is it hot, Cody? Mm-mm. Wait, wait, it's not hot at all? Mm-mm. No way! Maybe it's expired. Yeah, it gotta be expired. Come uh, on. I wanna try it. I wanna try it. I'm gonna open this one up, dude. Yeah, if it's not that hot, I wanna try it. Yeah, hold Are you sure it's not hot, Cody? Wait, wait. Nope, it's not hot at all. Wait. Cody, why is your face red? Oh, I, I'm just embarrassed for the chip company because they think it's hot, but it's not. Dude, you're shirtless. Yeah, I, I just want to show you how strong I am and how weak that chip is. Wait, mm. the, so the chip wasn't hot at all? No, that chip's for bitches. So you can eat two of them, huh? I could, but I'm not hungry right now. Oh, good. Eat two, eat two. That'd be yeah, so come cool. Come on, dude. Oh, you can do it. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, yeah, do it, dude. Mm -mm. Is it hot? Mm -mm. Come on, it has to be hot. It's the one chip challenge. You ate two. Mm -hmm. The Cody's truly a man. He's not a man. He can't be. Oh, you know, you know what would be really cool? What? He could eat three. Dude, he would be a savage. Oh, wait, open it up, open it up. Let's try to eat three. I gotta open it up. Okay. <laughs> Cody, are you. Cody! Mm -hmm. what? What? Dude! What happened to your hair? Oh, I, I shaved it to show you how much of a badass I am. It, it didn't fall off or anything. Oh, oh, wait, 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 why are your eyes red? Oh, I'm just so mad that that chip wasn't as hot as I wanted it to be. Oh, wait, can you eat three? Because if you could eat three, you're truly a badass. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, okay, I could do this all day. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, dude. I want to see it. What, why is your tongue black? Oh, uh, I guess my tongue died because of how hot the chip wasn't. Oh, oh, um, okay. Well, eat it then, dude. Oh, <laughs> I eat it. Eat oh, it. Savage, 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 savage. Whoa. Dang, dude, you really ate three chips? Wow, you finally get my respect now, bro. Well, boys, your friend Cody's lucky to be alive, but I gotta ask, what happened? Did he try to eat like a thousand bees? No, he ate three of the one chip challenges. What, three? What is he, crazy? No, he's a savage. He's only supposed to eat one, and even then, that one is dangerous. And he ate three like it was nothing. What a badass. So, like, is he gonna die? Well, see, that's the thing. He has third degree burns all over his body, his tongue is medically dead, and his stomach melted. His stomach melted? Yeah, so we're gonna have to do a stomach transplant. We're going 
the back and get a stomach. Well, this isn't Best Buy. I don't just have a closet full of stomachs back there. We're gonna need a stomach donor. We'll find a stomach donor. Well, see, that's the problem with stomachs. See, people need stomachs to live. So if we take a stomach from one person, they're gonna need a stomach, and then we're gonna have to take another stomach from someone else for them, and then it just goes on and on with people trading stomachs. So how are we gonna find a stomach? Well, we're gonna have to wait till we find somebody who's dead or dying and take their stomach. Well, why don't we just go to a nursing home and grab an old person and take their stomach? Well, then he'd have the stomach of like an 80-year-old man, and then he would only be able to eat like Jello and tapioca and stuff. So he needs a stomach from someone our age? Yeah, and that's pretty tough because people your age don't usually die unless it's an accident. Wait a minute. So what if one of our friends that we don't really care about just so happens to die today, we can bring them to you and you'll take their stomach? Um, if somebody your age were to just happen to die, I could use their stomach, yes. Joseph, what's up? We should totally kill one of our friends we don't care about and bring him the body so we get the stomach. Oh, dude, I've been waiting on this. Let's do it. Yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, okay, I, I didn't hear any of that. Okay, so we're going to bring you a stomach of someone our age. Wait, wait, wait. J just bring me the body and I will handle the stomach. All right, come on, Joseph. Let's go kill someone. Yeah, let's kill our friend. I didn't hear that either. All right, Joseph. Let's name off some friends that we really don't care about. Ooh, I can name a few. Like Patrick, that kid from class. Oh, yeah, Patrick. He thinks everything's crazy. When it's not. So let's use his stomach. But, but, dude, how are we going to kill him? Uh, ooh, I know. We can, we can put one of my toys on the roof and ask him to go get it. And then we lock him on the roof, and the only way he can get down is jump off. And that's how he dies. Ooh, you evil genius, you! So I bet he's outside. Let's go get him. Yeah, let's get him. Uh, hey, Patrick. Hey, guys, look at my Spider Man bounty. Sure is bouncy. Yeah, huh? Uh, Patrick, we need your help. I lost one of my toys. I need you to get it for me. Okay. Yeah, we need you to use your Spider-Man powers. Okay, I'll help. Uh, come on. See, Patrick, right there. there. There's my pedal ball, right there. Why is it on your roof? Uh, I got frustrated because I couldn't do it, and it was making me mad, so I threw it on the roof. Oh, that makes sense. Can you go get it for me? Okay, this is crazy. Joseph, close the window, close the window. I got you, dude. Ugh. Why did they close the window? I'm gonna get the paddle ball. Wee, this is fun. So now what, dude? Well, uh, eventually he's gonna get hungry and he's gonna wanna get off the roof and we locked the window, so the only way for him to get off the roof is he has to jump and jumping off the roof will kill him. Okay, so when is that gonna happen? Uh, well, he's having a lot of fun with that paddle ball, so. Yeah. Okay, maybe we should go try to kill someone else in case he doesn't jump. Ooh, sounds like fun. All right, Joseph, let's think of someone else in case Patrick doesn't jump off the roof. Ooh, how about that bully kid from class that's always bullying us? Oh yeah, the bully, he's always making fun of us. Wait, why don't we think of him first? We don't care about him. Right? Okay, so, so how about this? We go get the bully to come over to my house. We tell him we want to go swimming, and we say we're stronger swimmers than him. Ooh, that'll make him mad, dude. And the only way he's a stronger swimmer than us is if he can swim uh, with his weight tied to his ankle. And then he'll drown, and then we'll use his stomach, and we can let Patrick off the roof. Ooh, that's a genius plan. We take a life and save a life. Yeah, so, so let's go get the bully. Yeah, let's get his bully. <laughs> nerd, give me your lunch money. I don't have any money. I know you do. Hey, bully. What, what do you nerds want? Give me your lunch money. Uh, we, we were going to invite you to swim in my pool. W why would you invite me? You guys hate me. Uh, but you're our best friend. Yeah, and wouldn't you like to swim in a nice, cool pool? You look stressed. Yeah, that sounds kind of fun, actually. Yes, yeah, so, so come swim in my pool with us. Okay. All right, let's swim in the pool. Yeah! Wow, I never thought you guys would let me swim with you. That's really nice. Thank you. You don't know how to swim. Pussy! What? Yeah, you suck at swimming. Who? You're gonna drown. Well, I can swim. Someone who doesn't know how to swim says what? What? You don't know how to swim! I can swim! I can swim. If you're so good at swimming, then I bet you can't swim with this weight tied around your ankle. Well, I bet I can. Okay, let's tie it on your ankle then. Come okay. on. Okay, are you sure you can swim with this weight tied to your ankle? Yeah, I'm a really strong swimmer. Ha, you're gonna swim to the bottom. All right, Joseph, throw the weight in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're about to get a stomach. Oh, yeah. Stomach us up, dude. Uh, all right, Patrick, you can come down now. Hey, guys. You kind of left me on the roof up here. Yeah, sorry about that, but we don't need you anymore, so you can jump off now. Okay. Hey, can I jump in your pool from here? Uh, jump into the pool? Uh, Yeah, you should be able to make it in the pool from right there. Uh, okay, it's crazy. Whoa! Uh, what? Patrick, uh, what'd you do? Yeah, dude, he's supposed to be drowning. Guys, the craziest thing just happened. I jumped off the roof and I saw this guy drowning and I saved his life. What, what, we were trying to kill you guys. Yeah, you ruined it. But what? I'm out of here. Whoa, Patrick, you ruined everything. You want me to get back on the roof? Yeah, get back on the roof. Hurry okay. up. <sighs> oh, Joseph, I'm so frustrated. I know, we had him, dude. He was drowning. I know, and then Patrick had to save his life. <sighs> but at least Patrick's back on the roof. But he can keep jumping in the pool, dude. Okay, how about we drain the pool so when he jumps in the pool, he dies? But it's going to take hours to drain the pool. Okay, how about while the pool drains, we get another person to come over and we get their stomach. Like who, dude? Oh, we can call it Penelope. But don't you have a crush on her? But she's a girl and all girls are the same. It's not like I'm going to miss her. You're right, dude. Juice World was right. Yeah, all girls are the same. So I'll call Penelope and just ask her for her stomach. Wait, why would she give you her stomach, though? Because girls want to be skinny and if she gives us her stomach, she'll be skinny. Oh, yeah, she would totally be skinny. Okay, yeah, because she won't eat anymore. So let me call Penelope. 
What do you want, Junior? Well, there's something I need from you. Ooh, I like how this starts off, dude. Okay, well, what do you need? Well, the thing I need is inside of you. Oh, no, I'm out of here. No, 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 no I, promise, I promise I'm not being gross. I'm not. Listen, the thing I need is where babies come from. Oh, my God, I'm leaving. I'm talking about your stomach. I'm talking about your stomach. What babies don't come from your stomach, Junior? Yes, they do. That's why women's stomach get big when they're pregnant. It comes from your stomach. Oh, I don't have time to explain anatomy to you. Okay, listen, we need your stomach. It's an emergency. Well, why? Because Cody needs a stomach transplant. Oh, he's gonna die. No, Junior, if I give you my stomach, I'll die. Well, listen, listen, baby, listen, talk to me, talk to me, baby, listen. Don't you want to be skinny? If you give me your stomach, you're not going to eat anymore and you'll actually be skinny. Yeah, you look pretty fat over there, Penelope. You look like a chunky monkey. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? Look, you're gaining a few pounds. Listen, you're, you're pretty big. You're bigger than me. So listen, if you give me your stomach, you'll lose weight because you won't eat and then you'll be like a supermodel. Paper thin. Yeah, guys will actually like you. You know what? I'm fine with the way I look, Junior. Okay, you can lie to yourself, but not me. Listen, look, you get you get skinny, but we can, we can fix your face later with plastic surgery. Yeah. But listen, you give me your stomach, you'll be really skinny, I promise. Oh my God, you are so rude, Junior. I'm Leaving. No, 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 Who's at the door? Oh no! Hello? Hey, uh, you mind if I hide out here for a while? The police are looking for me. What'd you do? Oh, nothing serious. I, uh, stole a video game. Well, that's dumb. Video games should be free. Yeah, y yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I said. Yeah, so you can come inside. Yeah, you look cool, dude. Oh, good. Okay. So, what's your name? Uh, Purple People Eater. Purple People Eater? Yeah, but you can call me Greg. Alright, Greg, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm hungry. What? The news is on! I wouldn't watch that. Breaking news! The normal news anchor is on a cruise! So filling in is me, Steve Stalberger. So, breaking news! An escaped convict known as the Purple People Eater, known for eating his victims after they've decomposed and turned purple, has escaped from prison. Keep an eye out for him, he's very dangerous. Awkward. Uh, Greg, can you give us a second? Okay. Uh, Joseph, there's a serial killer right next to us. You know what that means? We need to run! What? No, 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 no. Grab the hammer and kill him. We can take his stomach. No one's gonna miss a serial killer. Oh, you're right, dude. I'll get the hammer. All right. Hey, Greg. So, we don't care what we just saw on the news. I mean, we know you're a good guy. Yeah, I only stole a video game. I got the hammer, dude. Wait, what's the hammer for? Uh, we're gonna make a TikTok to that song, Hammer Time. Oh, I love that song. Yeah, so go, go, go! Ah! Well, kid, your friends never came back. I guess I'm just gonna have to pull the plug. Uh, doctor, doctor, doctor! I found a guy we can take his stomach! What, is that purple people eater? Yeah, we hit him with a hammer! What, you know he eats people, right? His stomach is gonna be full of human remains. Well, you could just empty the stomach and give it to him. It's still a stomach. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, I guess we can do the surgery after all! Yeah! Well, guys, I made a full recovery. I just want to say thanks for giving me a new stomach. Anytime, bud! Get, get back down here! Yeah, Cody, we wanted you to be alive, so we got you a stomach. There was a lot of people we tried to kill. Wait, what? Yeah, there was a lot of people. We had to find you a new stomach, and we finally got you the perfect stomach. So how's it feeling? Well, it's okay, but whenever I eat food, I just don't feel satisfied. Uh, well, maybe because you need to eat people. Wait, what? Yeah, that stomach belonged to a serial killer who ate people. Wait, what? He ate people? Yeah, but only purple people, which means after the body decomposed and turned purple. Oh, oh God, I think I'm going to throw up. Well, no, you're not. Your stomach's used to eating stuff like that. So oh. look, maybe it's just hungry because you're not eating people. Uh, I can't eat people, Junior. Yeah, well, don't worry. You don't have to eat people, but that's probably why you're not satisfied. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I don't, I don't have to. <laughs> I can't believe summer break's over already. I know, dude. I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, come on, guys. Don't get your panties in a bunch. It's school, and you can't spell school without cool and taking out the H, because otherwise it would just be cahool. Oh, yeah, and I guess you have to take out the S, too. But you can't spell school without the letters in cool. You can't spell your mom without fat. Ha <laughs> ha, you can't! What? No, 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 because the letters F, A, and T don't even show up in your mom, so that shows how much you guys know. This is why you have to go to school. Welcome back, class! Today is the first day of school, and to celebrate, you have a bunch of homework. We have to make up for all that time you had off during summer break. A bunch of homework? Come on, it's the first day of school, teach, give us a break! Oh, come on, guys. We were just complaining we didn't do anything all summer, but now we have homework. Isn't that exciting? Yippee! Whoa! I don't want to 
want to hear any complaints, class. Two months of no school, you could have forgotten everything you learned last year. So this is going to help you remember. Come on, guys, he's right. Knowledge is power. Dude, flip his desk one more time, please. Hold on, guys, look at the drawing I just did of the teacher. <laughs> no way, dude. Tiny wee wee. <laughs> That's messed up, Junior. Ooh, let me see, let me see. Pass it to Cody, pass it to Cody. Here, dude. <laughs> That's, that's a good one. Hey, Cody, what do you have on your desk? Show me! Yeah, Junior, take your picture back. It's not my picture. Yeah, that's all you, bro. Yo, guys! Cody, show me that right now! Uh, no, no, nothing. It, 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 it's, it's a picture of Sonic the Hedgehog naked. I'm one of those weird kids. Cody, show me what you have on your desk right now! No, he has a really big dong. I don't think you really want to see it. Show me, Cody! <laughs> You have bunch of homework. I have tiny wee wee. I didn't do it. Junior drew it. Uh, I did not draw that. It was Cody. Yeah, Cody did it. Oh no, dude. I am going to tell the principal right now. Well, no, guys, tell the truth. What's wrong, Cody? Stop being a wimp. <laughs> it's the first day of school. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> All right, Cody. The principal is on his way, and I'm gonna show him this. <laughs> you tell him the truth, Junior. Tell him the goddamn truth. Someone call the principal. <laughs> The principal's here! Is Joseph okay? Mr. Chu, why did you summon me here from my comfortable office? Cause the student over there in the glasses, his name is Cody, and he drew this. <laughs> Let me get a peek. He drew this? He did. Cody, come here! <laughs> you drew this? No. Don't lie to me, boy! Don't lie to the principal! If you do, you're gonna be expelled! <laughs> okay, fine, I drew it. Do you know what I'm gonna do to you for drawing this? I'm gonna enter you to the International Drawing Competition! Wait, what? Yeah! This drawing is magnificent! It's the best we've ever seen! Mm hmm And we enter one student every year in the International Drawing Competition, but we lose. But you? You have a gift, boy! Wait a minute, wait a minute! I drew that drawing! Stop taking credit for other people's work! You didn't do this! You're suspended for lying! But you, you're a genius! I need you to bring that A-game tomorrow! Cause the competition's tomorrow, okay? But, but I didn't draw this! Stop being modest! I need you to bring that A-game! Chu, I think you found us a winner. I know, my eyes may be slant, but I know good talent when I see it. Mm -hmm. I'm out! Oh great, Junior. Now I'm entered into some stupid drawing competition and I don't even know how to draw. I know how to draw. It should be me in that competition. Well, that's what you get for lying, Junior. You should have fessed up in the beginning. Well, I thought I was going to get in trouble. I didn't know I was going to be entered into a competition. Well, seriously, Junior, what are we going to do? Because if I don't win this competition, I'm pretty sure Steinbeck will literally kill me. I mean, just look what he did to Joseph. Yeah, I think Joseph's gonna be out for the whole video. Uh, Penelope, can you come back to my house and help me and Cody think of a plan? Oh, uh, okay. Ugh. All right, Cody, what's the plan? Well, I suck at drawing, so I guess I'm gonna have to learn how to draw. Aw, don't say that, Cody. I'm sure you're decent at drawing. <laughs> no, no, I'm terrible. Come on, Cody, show us how you can draw. Show us something. Okay, um... Draw a cat. What, a cat? That's that's the one that meows, right? Yeah, draw it. Um, okay, so... It's that. What the hell? It's, it's, it's a tail there. What? I got four legs, so that's what those are. And then uh, it's got two ears, right? Two. And then some whiskers. And then there's a little eye. There you go. That's a cat. You suck at drawing, Cody. Yeah, what? that's horrible, Cody. Oh, yeah. It's not like I just told you that. Okay, no, no. There's no way you can draw in this competition. You're going to lose. I know. Well, so what are we going to do? I don't know. Wait, Junior, you're really good at drawing, right? Uh, it's not like they were just Googling over my drawing saying it was amazing and entered him in a competition. Yeah, I'm good at drawing. Okay, so what if you were to draw for Cody in the competition? How is that even going to work, Penelope? They're going to see him drawing. Yeah, like, that doesn't make it... Oh, I got an idea! Cody, how many of those ugly blue shirts do you have? I have a whole closet full. Okay, grab me one. Oh, okay. Okay, Junior, I brought you two shirts. And I don't think they look ugly. In fact, I think I look pretty spiffy. What was your idea with the shirts? <laughs> Why did you invite me? Just wait and see what my idea is. Ugh. 
All right, Cody, what do you think? Junior, this is not gonna work. How is it not gonna work? I'm inside your shirt, my hand's sticking out, I can draw for you, it's gonna work. They're definitely gonna see you sticking out of my back, and your legs are very obvious. Look, they're just gonna think you have back problems, or like you have a boil on your back. Ugh, Junior, I feel so constricted. I can't even reach my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week. Junior, this is the dumbest idea you've ever had. You look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. Ah, uh, get wrecked, Cody. Junior, she was insulting you. Junior, why don't you just teach Cody how to draw? Yeah, that makes a lot more sense, Junior. Oh, yeah, I guess I could just teach you. I can't even breathe. Yeah, let me get out of here. I'll teach you how to draw. <sighs> All right, Cody. Are you ready to learn how to draw like a pro? Please, because I, I need help. Because you're going to learn how to draw a cat for real, not whatever the hell this thing is. Yeah, I hope not. Okay, so start off with a medium circle. Um. Man, that's that's pretty big. Uh, draw another medium circle right next to it. Uh, over here? Okay. Uh. Okay, now put dots in between each one. Wait, are you making me draw boobies? What? No, no, these are not boobies. Okay, so now I want you to draw the nose. So you draw like an upside down three leaf clover. What? An upside down three leaf clover, like between the, 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 the booby things. What, like, like? Yes, like yeah, that? just like that. Now, now draw a round W connecting to the nose. A round, like, like that? Yeah, like that, like that, okay. Now put dots in between the W. Um, like. Just yeah, dots all over it. Oh, okay. Just a lot of dots. Get a lot of dots. Okay. Now put whiskers. I'll do lines coming out each side. What, um, like, uh, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now do like a little, like, scribbly, like, like, round, like, like scribbly under circle, like half circle underneath that for the mouth. Wait, so like... It, kinda. Now, now, now scribble all the way around it. Uh, scribble all the way around. Doing that. Um... Yeah, yeah, like that. Okay. Now, now give it two triangle ears. Um, how's that? Yeah, yeah, there it is, there it is. Eh, boom! Isn't that a cat? I mean, it's better than what I did. See, look, you're getting better. So now if we just do this all night, you'll eventually draw a professional-looking cat. I don't think this is going to work, Junior. I don't think I'm going to get any better. Oh, no, okay, how about this? During the drawing competition, you have a walkie-talkie earpiece in your ear, and I'll have a walkie-talkie, and I'll tell you exactly how to draw it. What you telling me what to draw isn't going to help. It's still going to suck. Well, I just told you how to draw this, and look, that cat looks a lot better than whatever that thing is. I, I mean, I'm not going to win a competition with this. Okay, you know what, Cody? You suck at drawing. How about that? You what? just suck, and then we're, we're gonna lose. Well, I know! That's what I've been saying this whole time! Wait, I got an idea! What if you call the principal and say that you broke both your hands and you can't draw tomorrow? Wait, yeah, th th that actually could work, because if my hands are broken, I can't draw. Yeah, so call the principal and say you fell off your bike and you broke both your hands and you just can't draw tomorrow! But, uh, okay, yeah! Okay, I'm calling the principal. It's ringing. Ooh, hot enough in my area, you say? <laughs> Bring it to me. <laughs> Who is this? Uh, hello? Principal Steinbeck speaking. Uh, uh, it, it, hello, it's me, Cody. Ooh, the young Picasso. How are you, boy? Uh, uh, I was riding my bike home today and I crashed. Do you need another bike? Uh, no, I, I, I crashed and I broke both my hands so I can't draw. Well, well, draw with your toes! I broke all of those too. Listen, boy, we need you for this drawing competition, okay? We have never won and we need to win at least one time. I promised my mom on her deathbed that we would win at least once. And you're gonna win it for us, okay? You ain't, you're gonna win it. Don't screw me over, boy! Oh. Now, where are the hot milfs? So what do you say? We're good? You don't have to draw in the competition? No, I can't back out. He seems pretty committed. But you broke both your hands! Well, yeah, he didn't really seem to care. What? So you stopped the draw? You're gonna lose! I have an idea. Junior, why don't you just dress up like Cody? Like, wear his glasses, his overalls, his bow tie? Yeah, that actually seems like a really good idea. Cody, you really think a girl can come up with a good idea? Well, yeah, I thought it was a good idea. Who invented the airplane? The Wright brothers, not the Wright sisters. Okay, but Amelia Earhart went around the world or whatever. And got lost. If a man would have been flying that plane, she wouldn't have gotten lost. Who invented peanut butter? George Washington Carver. Two George Washingtons did two good things. First president and invented peanut butter. How many female presidents are there, Cody? Well, we have a female vice president. <laughs> if the girls get lucky, then she'll take over if stuff that the other one dies. Whatever. What'd you say? Just dress up like Cody. Dumb. I know. I got an idea. I can just dress up like Cody. And then they'll think I'm Cody. That's literally what Penelope just said. Oh, Are really? you serious right now? I'm leaving. Every woman says that eventually in every relationship. All right, Cody. I'm going to dress up like you. Okay. 
All right, Cody, what do you think? Wow, Junior, you look pretty good. I think we might actually pull this off. Yeah, so I'm gonna win the drawing competition, and when everyone's screaming, Cody, Cody, I'm gonna take these glasses off and this outfit and let them know who really drew that picture. Well, don't do that. When they know you're not me, you might get disqualified or something. Well, I want people to know that I'm good at drawing. You're so stupid, you get all the credit for that dumb drawing, but it was my drawing. But no, no, Junior, it doesn't matter that you're good at drawing, okay? We just need to win this competition. But I want people to know I'm the one that's good at drawing. It doesn't matter, Junior. The most important thing is that we don't get caught. Okay, fine. I'm a win. I won't say anything. Hello and welcome to the International Drawing Competition, where drawers from around the world compete to see who's the best. Today we have two brilliant contestants. In this corner, Jacques Pierre Francois. No, oh, oh, oh. no stupid American can beat me in drawing. He may be in his 40s, but he never graduated the fifth grade. And in this corner, we have Cody Nutkiss. Oh, okay, boy, you better win this competition. The whole school is counting on you to win, plus my dead mom. So you got this, go. Okay, on the count of three, both of you will draw the best dog you can. Whoever draws the best dog wins. A dog? Well, good thing Cody's not really drawing. He only learned how to draw a cat. One, two, three, draw. <laughs> Using a Sharpie, what if you mess up? I never mess up. <laughs> All right, time's up. Stop drawing. It is now time for me to come around and choose a winner. All right, jockstrap. How does your drawing look? It is not my best work, but it is pretty decent. How about yours? My drawing is the best drawing of a dog this world's ever going to see. And I'm going to win this competition. All right, boys, let's see what you did. Check out my drawing. Oh, that's not bad. I like the bark bark. Really lets you know what you're looking at. Yeah, I didn't want you to get confused because I'm really good at drawing cats. So I wanted to make it look like a dog. So I said bark bark so you knew it was a dog. Okay, Jacques, let's see what you did. Jesus Christ, that's the best picture of a dog I've ever seen. Well, the winner for the 20th year in a row, to the surprise of absolutely nobody, is Jacques Pierre Francois. <laughs> I can beat these kids any day, like taking candy from a baby. Oh, that frog eating Frenchman! He beats us every year! I'm sorry, Principal. I tried to win. I know. You tried real hard, Cody. You're only suspended for two weeks this time. I mean, that is a really good drawing of a dog. I know. Phenomenal. Yeah, we should probably stop letting him compete. This happens every year. It's getting pretty old. You know, people stop competing because they just don't think they can beat him. I'm sorry, Cody. I tried to win. It's okay, Junior. It was impossible to beat him. But hey, I have no school for the next two weeks since I'm suspended. I'm suspended too! Oh, hey, we can hang out for two weeks. Uh, what? Dude! Oh, hey, Joseph, you're alive! I have a headache. What happened? A door hit you in the head. Oh. Yeah, but something bad happened to me and Cody. Oh, what's wrong, bud? There he goes. What do you want to do tonight? Oh, dude, let's throw rocks at cars! No, Joseph, you idiot. It's dark outside. How would we even see the cars? They have headlights, dude. Well, that's more of a morning activity. But I always sleep in. I'm gonna miss it. Well, you have to get up pretty early in the morning if you want to throw rocks at cars. Oh, fine. So, guys, what do you want to do at night since it's dark? Ooh, 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 ooh. I know, I know. We should watch a scary movie, and then whenever I get scared, you can hold me, and then kiss me, and then caress me, and then just kind of see where it goes from there, man. I think we should just turn on the TV and see if we can find something fun to watch. Okay. Hey there, do you love french fries? Well, a new McDonald's location is opening up, and if you're the first customer in line, you can win free french fries for a year! Whoa! Free french fries for a year? Dude, that's a lot of fries! I'm homeless! It'll feed me for like a whole year! Guys, 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 we should totally go to McDonald's right now to guarantee we're the first people in line. Oh yeah, dude, let's totally do it! Cody, you coming with us? No. What? Why? Come on, dude! I just don't really like french fries that much. Oh my god, Cody, are you literally the lamest person I've ever met? I think so, dude. Are you Dr. Lame? In the flesh! Cody, why don't you want to wait in line with us? Well, it just doesn't seem worth it to wait in line for hours just for french fries. It doesn't seem worth it, Cody! We could make so much money from this. Listen, listen. 
What are french fries made out of? Uh, potatoes. What are mashed potatoes made out of? Potatoes. What are baked potatoes made out of? <sighs> potatoes. So we can go to McDonald's, get our french fries, right? Our free french fries, and then we can go turn them into baked potatoes and sell them. Wait, you can't bake fried potatoes. Oh, okay, Cody, then fine. We, we'll, we'll go to McDonald's every day and get a hundred free orders of french fries, and we'll go around driving around and we'll sell them. Wait, no one's gonna want to buy cold french fries from your car. Well, we'll turn the heater on. Well, they're, they're still gonna be stale and gross. No one's gonna want them. Cody, we'll literally be a McDonald's on wheels. But, uh, yeah, a McDonald's that only sells french fries and nothing else. Well, that's the only thing people want is french fries. That's why they're giving them out for a year. Yeah, it's not like they're a burger place or anything. Okay, come on, Cody. At least come stand in line with us. Okay, look, I'll tell you what. I will stand in line with you, but as soon as I get bored, I'm going home. So what are the odds that you, like, stay the whole time? Zero percent. That's not happening. I like that percent. Yeah, the odds are in our favor, dude. All right, guys, let's go to McDonald's! Yeah, let's go! Guys, I can't believe it! We're first in line at McDonald's! Oh, dude, I can't believe it either! We're actually first! I can't believe it. Really? You can't believe we're the first people to wait in line all night just to get french fries? Cody, stop being a pout-pout fish. Yes, sour coward. What, what the hell are you talking about? Cody, you're being all sad and mopey. Do you not understand we're gonna get free french fries for a year? 365 days, dude! Yeah, that's enough fries to fix your eyes. Fries that'll tie your tie. Fries that'll stop your cries. Fries that'll keep you from being shy. Shies? Ah, uh, it was close, dude. Really, guys? Is this what we're gonna do for eight hours? Just make fry rhymes? Okay, we, how about we play I Spy? I Spy with my little eye. He's wearing glasses. He's a dork. He's ugly. Well, okay, you know what? I didn't even want to come here. You're right. It was you. Oh, he's good. Okay, fine. You know what? I have one. I Spy with my little eye. A colossal waste of my time. Your life? What? No, no. Don't, don't. Okay, I have another one. I spy two idiots who are wasting their night just to wait for french fries. Oh, that's us, that's us! Oh, he's good. Yeah, that's right, you win. Okay, oh, wait, Joseph. What? Stand right here. Well, why, dude? I want to be first. Oh, no, 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 I want to be first. No, 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 it was my idea, so I got to be first. No, I was first first. No, 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 I want to be first. No, dude, get in my get, spot. Get where you belong. Wait, what do you mean by that, dude, huh? Because it was my idea, so you got to be right there. Wait, no, you white people always think you're better than us. No, huh? no, it's my idea to get french fries. You can't, you don't even want french fries. No, you know what? Screw your fries. I'm out of here. Dude. Well, good. Leave. I don't want you here anyway. Now you. What? Don't you dare try to skip me. I'm not going to skip you. I don't care. Are you sure? Yes. Don't you try it. I'm not going to try it. I have the high ground. I don't care. What? <sighs> How much longer do we have to wait? About eight hours. Damn. Yeah, damn. I know. Eight hours? Yeah. I'm starting to get tired. You want to go home? No. We need to be first in line to get the fries. <sighs> I'm not yawning. I'm just... Oh, my phone's ringing. I don't hear anything. Uh, it's on silent. But then how did you hear it? Uh, hold on, Cody. Chef Pee-Pee's calling me. I have to answer it. It might be an emergency. Hello? Chef Pee-Pee? Yeah, it's me, Junior. What's wrong? You sound upset. What, what? What? Why are you yelling? You need me to go home right now? But but I'm at the McDonald's waiting in line with Cody and... Uh, really? Right now? Okay, let me tell Cody. Jesus, I hope you have Apple Care. Oh, uh, look, Cody, I have to go home right now. But why? Be because Chef Pee needs me to clean the entire kitchen because I spill apple juice everywhere. Junior, if you're leaving, I'm leaving. No, 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 you have to hold our spot in line. Someone might take it. Junior, no one's going to take it. Look around. There's no one for miles. Well, look, there might be a guy in that bush over there, and as soon as we leave our spot, he's going to come take our spot in line, and then he can get all the free french fries. Junior, I'm pretty sure nobody else even knows about this damn french fry deal. Look, Cody, just just take, just hold, just wait right here for five minutes. If I'm not back in five minutes, you can leave. Really? No, 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 I need you to wait the whole time. But look, look, just give me an hour. But an hour or two? Jesus, Junior, did you spill a whole uh, orchard's worth of apple juice? What's an orchard? It's where they grow apples. What? what it's, yeah, that's what... But look, just make it quick, okay? Oh, wait, just wait right here. Do not leave. Don't leave the spot in line. I'll be right back, okay? Just just wait right here. Don't leave no matter what. Even if someone tries to take a spot, don't leave. Hurry up! Where the hell is he? Oh, come on, Junior, it's been hours. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna call him. Come on, Junior, answer! Hello? Junior! Huh? What? To Junior? Wait, what are you doing? Wait, Cody? Yes, where are you? Is it French fry time? What? No, it's not French fry time! Wait, then why did you call me? B because I don't know where you are! You were supposed to be back hours ago! Oh, I'm, uh, I, uh, I'm still cleaning the orange juice. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Earlier you said it was apple juice. Huh? When you said you had a mess to clean, you said it was apple juice. Oh, yeah, it's both. Wait, what? Yeah, it was, um, it was... It was apple juice, orange juice, grape juice. It was a whole, it was a bunch of fruit juices. Uh, Jun Junior? What? What, Cody? What do Jun you want from me? What? what where, where? Where are you? I'm. I, I'm. I'm cleaning up the mess. Well, hurry up and come back. Okay, just give me a few minutes to get up from the ground because I've been wiping up the juices so much with napkins. Hold on. Speaking of napkins, Shabby, can you give me more napkins? 
Damn it, Junior, you, you took all the napkins. You don't know we can't afford napkins. Junior, that's the worst Chef PP impression I've ever heard. What are you talking about, Chef PP? Listen, Cody, listen. I'm. Let me just get up, okay? Why, why do you keep saying get up? I'm tired from cleaning, and I took a quick, a quick nap on the floor. A nap? I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Do not leave the spot, okay? I'm on my way right now. I'm getting look, I'm running. Uh, you don't sound like you're running. I'm out of breath. J Junior? Huh? Junior! I'm in the car. Y you're not in the car. I'm going through a tunnel. I'll there are back. no tunnels on the way here. J Junior? Junior! J uh, J Junior! Uh, hey, Cody, how you feeling? I think I'm dying. Man, I had the best sleep of my life in my nice warm bed. Yeah, I bet you did. What's wrong with you? I've been standing here for 12 hours, Junior. I'm exhausted. No one tried to skip you, right? No, no one else cares. No one else is even in line. Can you please just take my spot so I can go home? But I really have to go pee. Well, why didn't you just go at your house? Because I didn't have to go then. Look, what? I'm gonna go pee in that bush over there. Well, why can't you just wait for them to open and then you can use their bathroom? When are they gonna open? I, any minute now. Look, I'm gonna go pee in the bush. Just, just wait right here. You've been waiting all night. You can wait one more second. <sighs> Just hurry up. Congratulations, boy! You're the first one at McDonald's! Uh, uh, me? No, 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 actually, my friend Junior over there peeing in the bush, he, he was actually first. Well, you're the only one here, so you get free french fries for a year! But, no, J Junior was actually first. Well, get a picture with me, boy! Come here! This boy loves his McDonald's! I, I don't actually like it that much. But, Cody! You stole my free french fries for a year?! But, no, Junior, I tried to tell him that Why, you, you thief! You thief! You stood here just so you could get the french fries! You knew how much this meant to me! But, Junior, I don't even want your damn french fries! We're not friends anymore, fatty! But, Junior, come on! Well, boy, how does it feel to get all those french fries? But, you know what? It actually feels pretty good. I, I want the fries now. God, I hate Cody so much. Some friend. Junior, you're being ridiculous. Cody, go away. I hate you. Why? Because I waited 12 hours in line for you to get your stupid fries? No, because you took my spot so you could be the first customer. I didn't take your spot. You had to use the bathroom. You made me have to use the bathroom. But how? You put some weird voodoo witchcraft spell on my bladder that made me have to go pee at bad times. What, Junior, do you even hear yourself? You sound insane. Cody, you took my spot and you took my french fries. Look, I don't even want the fries. Take the stupid card. No, I didn't earn them. But yeah, we all know that. I'm the one who waited 12 hours hours in line. You take that back. What What are you talking about? That's just a fact. You know I couldn't wait in line. Chef PB needed me to clean the whole house. Okay, I know that's bullshit. What, did Chef PB tell you I wasn't actually cleaning? But no, he didn't have to. Oh, Cody, listen. I don't want those stupid dumb fries because you stole them from me and I want to be able to call you a thief. Well, okay, fine. Then I'll just take the one free medium fry a week for myself. What? Oh, you didn't know? You don't get unlimited fries for a year. You only get one free medium fry a week for one year. So it's not all you can eat french fries? Nope. That's gay. Yeah, I know, but that's what you get, and I'm gonna take it. Well, no, no, actually, I, I want the fries. No, 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 you said you didn't want the card, so now I'm gonna take it. But it's only one free medium fry. You might as well just let me have it. No, and it's gonna be the one best free medium fry of my goddamn life. Well, Cody, God, I hate you. Hey there, is this your friend? That's Joseph. Yeah, I caught him throwing rocks at cars. <laughs> Specifically, my car was while yelling, take that, you stupid pig, and F12. Joseph! Dude, I told you I was gonna do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him off with a warning this time. I'm in a good mood. Stupid pig. Okay, I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Did you get your fries, dude? No, Cody stole them from me. What? Yeah, yeah. Me and Cody were waiting in line at McDonald's for the french fries, and Cody was like, I want to go home. I don't want to stand here anymore. And I said, Cody, calm down. I'm about to get my french fries. And then out of nowhere, I start hearing, it was a baby kitten in the middle of the road, and there were cars coming. So I said, Cody, wait right here. I'm gonna go save this kitten, and I ran. And Cody was like, no, don't save the kitten, let it die. And I said, I'm not gonna let this kitten die. So I go in the middle of the road, I grab the kitten, I dodge a semi-truck, I dodge another truck, <gasps> and I jump, and I toss the kitten into a pile of feathers, and, then, and the kitten survives. And then I get back in line, and Cody had stolen my french fries. They thought he was the first customer. What a conniving little bastard he is. Yeah, Cody's son friend, huh? huh? Hey guys, check out my free medium fry for the week, and I didn't even have to pay for it. You know, because it's free. You kitten killer! What? What's he talking about? Cody, how's your medium fry? Oh, they're so good. Hold on, let me just get one. Oh, 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 oh yummy fries. Oh, was it worth the life of a kitten, though? But what? I don't understand this kitten thing. Somebody needs to explain that. Just worry about your stupid french fries, Cody. Yeah, why did you only get one, though? Oh, you didn't tell him? Oh, you don't get unlimited fries. You only get one medium fry a week for a year. Wait, you can't get all the fries you want? Nope. Huh, gay. Yeah, that's what Junior said. Yeah, just don't worry about your stupid fries, Cody. We don't want to be your friend anymore. Okay, fine. I'll eat my fries, and I'll see you guys next week with my next free medium fry. <sighs> I hate Cody so much. Yeah, I do too.
Okay, Joseph, what Lego set should we build now? Um, I'm not sure, dude. Hey, guys. Whoa, that's sick. Cody, what Lego set should we build? Uh, this one, the Pod Racer. <laughs> now, this is Pod Racing. <laughs> you remember he says that in the movie? Wait, I'm confused. That's Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. And that's Padme. Uh huh. And they get married? Yeah. But he's a little kid. Yeah, I know, it's weird. She's a grown woman. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. How does that work? I, I don't know, it's kind of gross. Wait, where's your free fry? I thought it was Friday. Oh, it is. But I decided to give my free fries this week to my hot date. Ken? No. Oh, it's someone else. Get in here. Hey guys! What, Penelope? I thought you were dating Ken! Oh, I am. But what, I can't take Penelope on a free medium french fry date? Cody's getting me free french fries. Medium french fries. Can I get a drink, too? <laughs> no, I didn't get free medium drinks every week for a year. But what if my mouth gets dry? Well, you can quench your thirst with a free medium french fry. Okay. You're so lame, Cody. Yeah, well, that may be true, but I have free medium french fries for a year. Come on, babe, let's go. <sighs> Let's go with this one. Okay, Joseph, what game do you want to play? The Oregon Trail or Cubert? Um, let's see what Oregon's talking about. Hey guys, happy Friday. You're not getting tired of french fries, Cody? Oh no, Junior, how could I possibly get tired of these delicious free medium french fries? You can't hate it when it's free. Can I have one? Sure, just for one dollar per fry. What, one dollar per fry? Why? Well, because I'm selling them, like you said. I'm starting my own potato company or whatever. That only works if you have unlimited french fries. Well, it's kind of like having unlimited, except I only get one medium a week for a year. Year, but that's still a lot of french fries. Well, I'm not gonna buy your stupid french fries, Cody. Why don't you just try to redeem them all at once? I don't think they'd let me do that. Wait, would they let me do that? Wait, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. <sighs> I'll play Cubert. This stupid packaging, Joseph, I can't open it. Yeah, me either, dude. Hey, guys. Did you get all the french fries? No, they told me to read the card, and the card says one free medium order of fries every week up to a year. So I just gotta take it one week at a time. They wouldn't let you get all the fries just right now? Nope, so I'm just gonna have to have one box of medium free fries every week. You're really gonna get it every single week? Yes, I am. Every week, I'm gonna have a box of fries, at least once a week. No, really, I'm really gonna do that. Every single week, I'm gonna have a box of fries with me. And if you don't see me with a box of fries at least once a week, then you can yell and scream in the comments and be mad at us, but I'm gonna do it. I'm really gonna do it. Yeah, we'll see, Cody. For dinner, what the? Ew. Gross. But shouldn't be, why is our pancakes green? I put broccoli in your pancakes so it could be healthier. Just eat it, God. That's so gross. Yeah, I'm not eating this. Me either, dude. You're right, guys. We don't have to eat this. Yeah. This stuff is gross. Yeah. Let's go on strike. Yeah. Let's make out. No. Let's throw our plates at the wall. Yeah. 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 That was loud. Yeah. Let's go tie up Chef PB, steal his credit card, and order pizza! Yeah! Julia, what's all that ruckus in there? Let go of me, let go of me, come on! Where's your credit card, Chef PB? What? Ow! Where is it? I'm not giving you my credit card, thing. Ow! Stop hitting me! Ow! Now, hold on, Junior, you're being a little too rough with him. So what are you gonna do, four eyes, huh? Ow! He spit in my mouth! Ew! Yeah, that's what Daddy likes. Now, where's your credit card, you dirty little pig boy? I'm not giving you my credit card! Alright, Cody, I think it's time for you to calm down. Yeah, I'm sorry. Where Junior, is it? where is it? I'm not giving it to you. Ow! Stop hitting me. Uh, Junior, I found his wallet. Oh, we found your wallet. Give me my wallet. Don't take my wallet. Ow! In the closet you go. No, please, not the closet. It's not that bad, Chef Pee Pee. I've been in there my whole life. Let go of me, guys. Don't put me in the closet. Please, please, please. Uh, Ow! Okay, guys. Let's go order some pizza. Yeah! Eskimo kisses. Get off me, Cody. Okay. Okay, guys, where should we order pizza from? Well, there's so many places to choose from. There's Papa John's, Domino's, Pizza Hut. Well, look at the commercial! Hey there, my name is 30 Second Sammy, and not for the reason you think. Have you ever needed a pizza in 30 seconds? Like, you just can't wait? You need a pizza right now? Well, just call 30 Second Sammy's, and we'll have a pizza delivered to you within 30 seconds or less. That's a guarantee, or the pizza's free. How do we get the pizza to you so fast? Well, we don't stop for red lights. We don't stop for school buses. I ran over my dog. Everyone's in danger. We have no regard for human life, only pizza. I have pizza coursing through my veins. My wife gave birth to a full pepperoni pizza. So just call 1-800-FAST-PIE. That's 1-800-FAST-PIE. Guys, let's order from there. They can make a pizza in 30 seconds. There's no way they can make a pizza in 30 seconds. My dad said I was made in 30 seconds. Mine too, dude. All right, I'll call him. 
All right, guys, I ordered the pizza. What kind of pizza did you order? Cheese. Not what your teeth look like. What kind of pizza did you order? Cheese. Not what's in your ears, Cody. What kind of pizza did you order? No, I ordered a cheese pizza. You could have just said that. Oh, that must be them. They came fast. Yeah, my dad did too. That's how I was made. Hello? Hey there, got your pizza here in less than 30 seconds, so I get to keep my job. <laughs> Woo! I dragged myself up. Here's your pizza. All right, thank you. Uh, you look familiar. Oh, I don't know about all that. I moved down here about a week ago from up north, so I'm sure you don't know me. <laughs> well, how old are you? Oh, I'm 43. I just don't have much to show for it. As you can see, I'm still delivering pizza. <laughs> I didn't go to college. Stay in school, kid. Uh, okay. All right, guys, the pizza's here. Oh, good, I'm starving. The delivery driver was really weird. Oh, no, did he look like the kind of guy that would put his balls on our pizza? Kinda. Even better. No, Cody, you don't understand. He looks just like you. Huh, that's weird. God damn it! They gave us garlic sauce instead of marinara sauce! Ooh. Cody, you don't understand. I think he might be his long-lost son. But I'm not. Wait, he looks just like Cody? He looks just like Cody. I think that's Cody's dad. Wow, really? Look, guys, can we just eat our pizza? But, Cody, he looks just like you! Look, Junior, there are seven billion people in the world. Two people are bound to look the same eventually. Can you please just go look at him? Junior, he already left. The only reason he'd come back is if we ordered another pizza. Yeah, we need some more marinara sauce. Yeah, yeah, order a pepperoni pizza. I'm tired of looking at the cheese pizza. It looks like Cody's teeth. I'm on it, dude. Guys, this is a waste of pizza. Yes, one large pepperoni pizza. And don't forget the marinara sauce this time. God! All right, the pizza's on its way, guys. Cody, are you ready to see your real dad? Junior, I think it's ridiculous that you ordered another pizza just because you think the pizza guy looks like me. He looks just like you, Cody. He's your long-lost father. This is stupid. I'm going to the bathroom. Well, you gotta hurry up. The pizza's gonna be here in like 20 seconds. Oh no, he's here! Cody, hurry! Oh, I'll go see him with you, dude. Yeah, come see him, come see him. Hello? Guess who's back? You guys really must like your pizza. I can't have it myself because of the diabetes, but I sneak a piece every now and again. <laughs> dude, he looks just like Cody. I was trying to tell you that, Joseph. Well, anyway, here's your pizza. Hold on, I gotta check something real quick. A garlic sauce? Really? Garlic sauce? Where's the goddamn marinara sauce? Yeah, there is no marinara sauce in the order. I ordered marinara sauce, I said it three times. I'm gonna cut your face! I'm gonna murder your first house! You're yelling so hard, your hat's coming off. My mom, where's my marinara sauce, bro? Marinara sauce! Uh, let go of me, let go of me! I'm gonna kill him! Calm down, Joseph. Marinara sauce! What the hell happened? The delivery guy forgot the marinara sauce and Joseph freaked out on him. Oh, well, does he look like me? Yeah, he looks like you. What, really? Yeah, he could totally be your dad. I told you, Cody. <sighs> okay, well, now I have to see this guy if you both agree he looks like me. Well, he ran away because Joseph yelled at him. Well, how about I order another pizza and this time he better not forget the marinara sauce. <sighs> Guys, don't order another pizza. We already have two. Well, Joseph freaked out and destroyed the pepperoni, so we only have one. Oh. Well, so order a pineapple pizza this time, Joseph. Okay, I'm on it, dude. Yes, one large pineapple pizza, extra marinara sauce. And I swear to God, if you forget the marinara sauce, I'm going to blow the whole place. I'm crazy and I mean it. Oh, my dad has a whole bunch of fertilizer in his backyard. Ah! All right, they're on the way, guys. I don't think threatening them is going to help. Uh, they're here. I think it did help. Okay, Cody, are you ready to see the guy that looks just like you? Hello? Hey there, somebody order a pizza and call in a bomb threat? That would be me. Yeah, don't do that anymore. Did you get the marinara sauce though? Oh yeah, we got it. We didn't want the place going kaboom, but uh, you did say something about your dad having a bunch of fertilizer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad's dead though, so around the grave. Oh, okay, that's good. Wait, wait where's the other pizza delivery guy? Oh, well he was assaulted last time he came here, so you've been banned from 30 Second Sammy's. If you call that number, I'm just gonna show up now. But we wanna see the other guy! Well, that's not gonna happen, because his life is obviously in danger here, so here, here's your pizza. Oh, come on, guys. Let's go. Uh, now how are you going to see a real dad, Cody? It's not that big a deal. Yes, it is. He looks just like you. He's not my dad. The, the stupid ass box. Oh, oh, my bad, guys. I'm just on edge today. Thank God I got my marinara sauce. I would have had to kill somebody. But, but Cody, I, I want you to meet your real dad. He's not my dad. Well, yes, he is. Joseph, is it his dad? I don't know, dude. I can't remember. See, see? He doesn't remember. Come on, Cody. We have to see him. Junior, we can't see him. He's banned from delivering pizzas to your house. <gasps> That's it, Cody. We go to your house and order a pizza so you can see him. What? No, I'm not doing that. And then also your mom can see him and we can ask your mom if she banged him. I'm not asking my mom if she banged the pizza guy. But, dude, don't you want to know? Yeah, don't you want to know you're the son of a pizza man? What no, I don't actually. Ooh, I got a test to see if you're his son. Um, spell pizza. What? Spell pizza. Why? Because only pizza men's son can spell pizza. What are you talking about? Everybody knows how to spell pizza. Then spell it. Okay, P-I-Z-Z-A. You're his son. I knew it, dude. I knew it. Wait, no, everybody on earth knows how to spell pizza. Not a newborn baby. Okay, you know what? I'm going home. Okay, we're going to follow you and order the pizza. Wait, no. Well, come on. We want to see the pizza guy. You got to see your own father. <sighs> okay, if it means that much to you, you can come with me. Yeah, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, let's go. Okay, guys, we have to be quiet. I didn't ask my parents' permission to have friends over. Boy, what did I tell you about it, buddy? 
having your friends over here without permission. Sorry, Dad. No, no, no. Ain't no sorrys in this household. You know what you gotta do now. Yeah. Yeah, eat this bar soda. But eat it? Yeah, my dad doesn't understand the right punishment for things. Yeah, and I'm gonna check your mouth in five minutes. I better see bubbles on that tongue. Yes, sir. Well, you don't have to listen to him. He's not even your dad. Junior, you don't want to get me in even more trouble. I'm gonna have to eat two bars of soap. Okay. Let's just go to my room. Are you really gonna eat that bar of soap? No, I'm just gonna put it with the rest. So wasteful. If you want to eat a bar of soap, be my guest. I mean, I love my marinara at Junior's house. I totally would, though. Um, Cody, are you ready to order the pizza? Uh, yeah. What kind of pizza do you want? Pepperoni. Okay. Yes, one large pepperoni. Okay, thank you. Alright guys, the pizza's on its way. Cody, are you ready to meet your real dad? He's not my real dad. He's better than the dad that's trying to feed you bars of soap. Yeah, I guess. It's here, it's here! Alright Cody, you have to get ready. You have to look really nice for your dad. Um, let me fix your hair. Uh-huh, you look really good. Come on. Okay. Alright Cody, I think you should answer the door because you haven't met your dad yet. He's not my dad, but okay. Hello? Hey there, did somebody order a pizza? Yeah, I did. Wanna see a joke? No, oh, ow! I'm the Leaning Tower of Pizza. Oh, God. <laughs> because the box is leaning on top of my head. Yeah, I get it. It's just awful. <laughs> Ooh, everyone in the office likes a dead joke. Junior, this guy's a dork. But he's your dad, though. Boy, what did I tell you about inviting more friends to this house without my permission? But no, he's not a friend. He's just a pizza guy. Oh, uh, no. Nah, you ain't eating pizza in this house. You only eat soap a day. Okay. Mm -hmm. I hope he doesn't drop that bar of soap. <laughs> Even though I wouldn't trust you around kids, how about you come in here and eat pizza with me? Oh, I really shouldn't. I'm on the job. Except my offer, sir! Yes, sir! <laughs> so, Cody, how does it feel that you met your real dad? He's not my real dad. He's a dork. Like father, like son. What, no, he, he's ugly. Like father, like son. What, no, no, I just mean he's weird. Like father, like son. Look, if you say that one more time, I'm gonna hit you with this bar of soap. Like father, like son. Who was at the door, honey? Oh, baby, just the funniest saltine I've ever met. Hey, don't forget the cheese whiz for those saltines, friend. <laughs> See, baby, he's hilarious. He's bonkers. Gary? Judith? Wait, wait, baby, you met him before? Oh, wait, you must have been to one of his comedy shows. Yep, yep. Well, she's been to one of my shows, friend. Oh, this is awkward. Wait, what's wrong, baby? You look befuzzled. Um, Tyrone, there's something I have to tell you. Fourteen years ago, I ordered a pizza, and this man delivered it, but I couldn't pay for it. Oh, so he gave it to you for free. Respect, respect. Who did he Helping a woman out of need, I like that. Uh, no, I paid for it, and I've been paying for it for 14 years. Wait, he put you on a payment plan for 14 years for a $20 pizza? Let me do the math. 20 divided by 14, that's 11 cents a month! Well, Man, give me my respect back. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. No, no, Tyrone, what I'm trying to say is you're not really Cody's daddy. Yes! What are you talking about, woman? I am Cody's daddy. I look just like that boy. He looks just like me, I mean. Well, come in here, Cody. See, see, he wore the same glasses, uh, he got my nose, and we got the same skin color, woman! Cody, this man Gary is your real daddy. What? I'm a father? Well, I didn't know I had it in me. Wait, Mom, I, this guy can't be my real dad! Yeah, I agree with Cody! He's not his real daddy! I will fight him to the death over Cody! Oh, well, I don't condone violence. Oh, you condone it today, we going outside to fight, come on! Oh, I'm sure there's a peaceful way we can settle this. By me ripping your head off, come on! Hey, we're doing this. Hate to have to do this to you, funny man, but I gotta knock you out. I'll have you know I'm a yellow belt and crop my gall. Purple nipple! Ah! My nipples! My number one weakness! Two men fighting over me. Oh, boys, I'm not worth it. Ah! Oh, my head hurts. What happened? Oh, you were, uh, you were delivering pizzas and you get hit by, uh, what's that called? By a car. Yeah, so any memories you have from the last five minutes or so didn't happen. But, but I have a son. No, no, you know you don't. You don't have a son. No, that was a delusion. That never happened. Uh, are you sure? Because then... No, I'm sure. I'm, I'm totally sure. Nope, nope, none of that happened. So just go. Get out of my house. This is my house. All right. Well, I mean, you are the doctor. Thanks, Doc. Is that good? Appreciate that, doctor. Good looking now. Yeah, I don't mind lying for money. I hope you don't mind. I gotta make sure this is real. Yeah, we're good. Uh, thanks for rocking his shit, Dad. Anytime, Cody. Anytime. I would knock out anybody for you, even a bully. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, now go in your room and eat that bar of soap before I knock you out like your daddy. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong, Cody? What was all that noise? Oh, uh, I, I asked the pizza man if he was my dad, and he said no. He said no, but he looks just like you. Yeah, yeah, I know, but we did a DNA test, and it turns out he's not my dad. He's not? I could have swore he was your dad. Yeah, I thought so too, but no, no, he's not. Oh, that's a bummer. I wonder who your real dad is. Yeah, well, what do you want to do for the rest of the night? I don't know. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Julia! Let me out, please!
Alright guys, are you ready to eat our peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Dude, you know I love my pb and js Jesus, Joseph, leave some peanut butter and jelly for the rest of the world. No, it's all for me! <laughs> the only thing I like about pb and j is the BJ part. What, the butter and jelly? <sighs> you missed the point of the joke, but sure. Alright, let's just eat our peanut butter and jellies. Joseph looks like he's almost done on it. <laughs> it's mine! <laughs> okay. I don't know what part of mine I should eat. Just eat the whole sandwich, dude! God! Well, guys, it tastes kind of weird. Well, what, are you, what are you talking about? Uh, I don't know. I, just, I don't really feel good. I feel like my throat's closing up. <coughs> guys, I can't breathe! You should have gotten vaccinated. I did! There's nothing wrong with the sandwich! There's nothing wrong with the sandwich! It's just peanut butter and jelly, Cody. Stop acting ridiculous. Oh, uh, guys, help me! Uh, Cody, how's your sandwich? I mean, Joseph, how's your sandwich? Oh, it's delicious! Oh, can I get another one, dude? Yeah, let's go make another one. Uh, guys, help! Holy shit! Why do you look like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Something's wrong, I can't breathe. Oh, dude, uh, we should call a doctor or something. Or we should call Santa because he's missing one of his reindeer. <laughs> dude, you're hilarious. Cody, stop acting ridiculous. Look, we're going upstairs, come on. Come on, Rudolph. All right, Cody, just lay right here and watch TV until you feel better. I need a doctor, please. A Dr. Pepper? No. Joseph, get him a Dr. Pepper. All right, I'm on it, dude. Uh, I got you a Dr. Pepper. You need to cut the dark sodas out. It's not good for you. No, I need a Dr. Soon. A Dr. Seuss book? No. Joseph, get him a Dr. Seuss book. Oh, Dr. Seuss. Oh, yeah, Dr. Seuss is good for you. I got the cat in the hat. It's my fave. Uh, no, I need a doctor to make me feel better. Dr. Phil. Uh, Dr. Phil? Go print out a picture of Dr. Phil. All right, I'm on it, dude. Why would All right, you know? the doctor's right here. Here's Dr. Phil. No, I need a medical doctor. Dr. Phil is a medical doctor. Joseph, Google his degree. All right, dude, I'm on it. All right, it says right here he went to Midwestern State University in 1975. What? Then he went to University of North Texas in 1979. I don't care. Then he went to the University of Tulsa. But he doesn't say when, but he went. Yeah, so Dr. Phil is a medical doctor, so say sorry to him. Uh, no, call me a doctor. Call you a doctor? If you don't consider Dr. Phil a doctor, why would we call you a doctor? I would not get a checkup by you, dude. Call a doctor on the phone. Oh, he needs us to call him a doctor. He could have just said that. Yeah, yeah, let me go call him. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Ew, is that Dr. Phil? Get him out of here. I refuse to work in front of Dr. Phil. He reminds me of my creepy uncle and I don't like him. Okay. Wait, is that a Dr. Pepper? Get that out of here too. Dr. Pepper gives doctors a bad name. Yeah, get a Mr. Pibb instead. He knows his place. Wait, is that the cat in the hat? I hate cats, especially when they wear hats. It's unnatural. Get that out of here. <sighs> All right, what's up? Well, my friend was eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and then he started acting like a drama queen. Oh, no. It looks like he's having some kind of allergic reaction. A whaty what what? An allergic reaction? I think he was probably allergic to the peanut butter. You can be allergic to peanut butter? Yeah, he probably just has a nut allergy. Look, you just stab him with this EpiPen. That'll cure him right up. Yeah! <sighs> oh, thank God. Doctor, what happened? Well, I think you're probably just allergic to nuts. What? Allergic to nuts? No, I can't be allergic to nuts. I love nuts. I love nuts in my mouth. I love all kinds of nuts. I love big nuts, small nuts, round nuts, crunchy nuts, these nuts. Got him! Well, even, even his last name has nuts. His last name is Nut Kiss. Yeah, and he likes dudes. It's impossible for him to stay away from nuts. I'm sorry, kid. You're just gonna have to stay away from nuts from now on if you don't want to die. Stay away from nuts? No! <laughs> He's so ugly when he cries. He's hideous, dude. <laughs> it's not that serious, Cody. Yes, it is, Junior. I'm allergic to nuts. That's my whole thing. I love nuts. Everybody knows how much I love nuts. God, we get it. You're so gay. Shut up. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Cody, you can just like something else now. What, my girls? Ew. I'll just lay here and be sad forever. Well, I'm hungry, dude. I'm gonna eat some M&M's. Oh, can I have an M&M? Oh, sure, buddy. Hey, Cody, do you want M&M? What kind are they? Uh, it's chocolate, dude. Okay. Ah, here you go, buddy. <coughs> Wait, what kind of M&M's are these? Uh, it's chocolate, but it says peanut on the back. <coughs> ah! He can't have nuts. Oh, I forgot. Oh, uh, Cody, what do you need? The pen. He needs a pen. Oh, I can, I can get a pen, dude. He wants to write down what's wrong. Okay, uh, uh, here you go, buddy. Here's not, a pen. Not that pen. He doesn't want that pen. <coughs> Why, because it's brown, huh? You wanted to drink from a separate water fountain, huh? No, no, happy pen. A uh, safety pin. Oh, safety pin. He needs a safety pin. You just said that, dude. <laughs> Hurry. <laughs> Here's the safety pin, buddy. No, the pen, you imbecile. A pen, a pen, a pencil. A pencil, a pencil. Oh, a pencil. He wants a pencil. A pencil. Here you go, buddy. And it's sharpened. No, no. The pen, the pen. Oh, he needs this pen. Oh, he could have said that. Silly, oh, the pen that'll save his life. <laughs> Hold on, buddy. I got it. <laughs> You guys could have killed me with those peanuts. Dude, I didn't know there was peanuts in there. I was just trying to give you a snack. It says peanuts right there in the wrapper. You're going to have to start reading off the wrappers from now on. Eminem, Snoop Dogg. 
Tupac. What are you doing? You said I need to start reading off the wrappers. But no, the candy wrappers! Well then say candy wrappers next time. <sighs> Do you guys have any candy I can have that isn't full of peanuts? Uh, yeah, I got a candy bar right here. Are there peanuts in it? No, it says Hershey on the wrapper, dude. Okay, I'll have a piece of that then. Okay, buddy. Here you go. Thanks. <coughs> How is this possible? Are there peanuts in that? Um, uh, Cody, it does not say there's peanuts in it. Uh, read the wrapper! Uh, Tupac, M&M. No, it's a candy wrapper! Oh, uh, it says, uh, it says, Hershey's milk chocolate with whole almonds, but it does not say peanuts. <coughs> whoa, 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 what's wrong with you? Uh, almonds are nuts. All men are nuts. I thought you liked guys. No! Well, you don't like guys? About time. He likes girls now. <laughs> no, I'm allergic. Yeah, you're allergic to nuts, but there's no nuts in this. There's just almonds. You idiot. The pet, do the pet again. I can't use that pen unless you're having an allergic reaction. I am. On what? There's no nuts in here. Don't do the pet. Okay, if you die for me using this when it's not supposed to be used, it's your fault. <laughs> okay, okay, that's it. Everybody stay the hell away from me. Why are you acting like that, Cody? Because I was having an allergic reaction because almonds are a kind of nut. You're a nut. What, what the hell? You guys are gonna kill me! What? Almonds are not a nut. Yes, they are. Then why doesn't it have nut in the name? There's peanuts, walnuts, hazelnuts, macadamia nut? Almond. What, okay, what about cashews? What the hell is that? You're just making up stuff now. Okay, that's it. I don't trust any of you with food anymore. We did not know that almonds were nuts. It's really confusing. They should put nut in the name. It should be called an almond nut. But they don't have to do that because everybody already knows it. I didn't know that and Joseph didn't know that. Mm. Okay, look, Cody, how about we go eat a bowl of cereal? There's nothing bad with cereal. Okay, I guess that's safe. As long as it's not Honey Nut Cheerios. It won't be that. It'll be like Fruit Loops or something. Okay. All right, guys, are you ready to eat some Minecraft Creeper Crunch? Well, you guys made a really big mess last time. We'll get Chef to clean it up later. Just make sure it doesn't get near me. Just stay over there. Okay, are you sure there's no nuts in the cereal? There's no nuts in it, Cody. It says the cinnamon-flavored cereal with marshmallows. Ooh, marshmallows. Okay. Do you like it, Joseph? Uh, it's okay. I would rather have some Lucky Charms, dude. I think I have some Lucky Charms. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what now, Cody? There has to be nuts somewhere. There's no nuts in this cereal. Look look at the box. Look at the box. <laughs> What's wrong? Where are the nuts? I, I don't know. I mean, the milk is sponsored by almonds. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, look, 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 look. It says right here, sponsored by almonds. It must be the Olympics, dude. Yeah, the Olympics. <laughs> Guys, it's almond milk. What, what's almond milk? It's milk that comes from almonds. You can't get milk from almonds. Almonds do not have titties or udders. You can get milk. Milk from almonds. Milk them right now. Yeah, I want to see you milk them. Uh, guys, I need the pen. You're not getting the pen until you show us milk coming from the almonds. Please give me the pen. Come upstairs, come on. <laughs> All right, Cody, explain the almond milk thing. Look, almond milk comes from almonds. How? All right, show me. Milk them right now. I'll give you $5. Keep those things away from me. I'm going to need the pen again. But how can milk come from these almonds? Look, I don't understand it either, okay? I just know that if I eat those again, I'm going to die. So you're allergic to milk, too? But yeah, sure, I'm allergic to milk. Who's that? What, PJ Crenshaw? Hey, what's up? Did you just walk into my house? Well, yeah, it's raining. PJ doesn't want to get his PJs wet. Uh, that makes sense. PJ doesn't get wet. He makes things wet. Isn't that right, ladies? Yeah! I have a slip and slide at my house. Maybe you can come over sometime. It would be an honor, PJ, but what are you doing here? I just wanted to hang like the Scooby-Doo gang, you know, see what's going on. Oh, yeah, I would love to hang out. Okay, where's your couch? Uh, upstairs. Who's at the door, Junior? PJ Crenshaw! Parent Jimmy's Crenshaw? Jimmy Jam's Crenshaw? That's the one! Hey, guys, what's up? Oh, it's an honor to be in your presence, Mr. Crenshaw! What's he doing here? I don't know, but he brought hot girls. If PJ thinks you're cool, then you're totally hot. Wanna make out? Dude, we're so cool! They want us. Yeah, I just wanted to come over and hang out with the normal people, you know? See what it's like to be a normal kid. I can't believe you brought made a mess in that kitchen with those peanut butter and jelly sandwiches! You better come downstairs and clean it up right now! Huh, peanut butter and jelly? My middle name is Brandon, so my initials are PBJ. PBJ Crenshaw? Jelly Jams Crenshaw? Cut the crust off, Crenshaw! <laughs> hey, who wants to go eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with me? My tree! I, I wanna eat the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches! I, I wanna eat them? I, I, I can't. Excuse me? What? what? Shut up, dude! Cody! I, I'm sorry, I just can't. Are you really gonna deny my free offer to have a feast of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? You hearing this lady? He just said no to PJ Crenshaw. That's not cool. We're not gonna make out with you anymore. Oh, no, 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 Cody doesn't know what he's talking about. Cody can eat a thousand peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, I saw him eat 25 minutes ago. Yeah. What, no, I didn't. No, no, he can, he can eat more peanut butter and jelly sandwiches than anyone I've ever met. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Well, it sounds like you're challenging me to a peanut butter and jelly sandwich eating contest. Yeah, he is. What, no, I'm not. Yeah, he can eat more than anyone can eat in the entire world. All right, then it's official. We're gonna have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich eating contest, and whoever can eat the most peanut butter and jelly sandwiches wins. 
But Junior, why would you do that? You know I can't eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Well, we don't want those girls to leave us. Yeah. But Jun Junior, I'm gonna die. Well, no, if you start freaking out, we'll stab you with the EpiPen and save your life. It's for emergencies only. This is an emergency. Now eat those peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Come on, dude. All right, whoever can eat all five of these peanut butter and jelly sandwiches first is the winner. Uh, guys, I really don't want to do this. Come on, Cody, you have to do it for us. You have to do it for the girls. Yeah, do it for us, dude. Come on. Okay. We'll have the pen ready. All right. Three, two, one, go! Guys, <laughs> <laughs> uh. I won! Yay! <coughs> Dude, I can't believe you lost! You lost, Cody! Oh, you're so stupid! Come, come on! Wow, I can't believe you lost, Cody! <laughs> I got your stupid EpiPen, but now that you lost, girls will never talk to us. Hey there, champ. Oh, PJ Crenshaw! God, is that you? You know, kid, even though you lost the contest, you really gulped down those sandwiches. You showed some real fight, and I'm proud of you. Keep your head up, champ. I'll see you around. Ladies, give his boy some treatment. Okay! Mwah, mwah. We just got kissed on the cheek! Dude, I just lost my V-card! Oh, Cody, you got us kissed by girls! I don't care. I need the pen. Oh, right, the pen. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm going home. No, don't go home, Cody. You got girls to kiss us. Yeah, I lost my V-car, dude. If I stay here, I'm gonna die. No, no, no. We don't have to eat any more stuff. No more nut stuff. Let's just sit back and watch a nice, calm movie. Okay, that seems safe enough. Uh, what movie do you want to watch? I don't care. You pick. Joseph, what movie do you want to watch? Definitely not Big Hero 6, dude. Do not ever bring that movie up in front of me ever again. I hate Big Hero 6. It's the worst movie in the world. I'm ooh, sorry. Ooh. What if we watch The Nutty Professor? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allergic, I just hate that movie. <coughs> Joseph, what do you want to do today? Oh, dude, let's go wash our hands with a bunch of soap. <gasps> I bet I can wash my hands better than you can wash your hands. What? No, you can't, silly Billy. Yes, I can, you silly goose. <laughs> silly Billy, silly Billy, silly Billy. Hey, guys, guess what I just bought for $2,000. $2,000? Where'd you get that kind of money? Oh, I've been saving up my money for whenever I do chores for the last 10 years. Every penny. Well, what'd you spend $2,000 on? I want you to guess. A car. Well, no, I can't drive. A boat? Well, I definitely can't drive a boat. A spaceship. <sighs> Junior, you guess. But oh. was it a spaceship, dude? No. Uh -huh. Um. Did you pay someone to cut off their finger? What? Yeah, did you pay $2,000 for someone's finger? Why would I pay $2,000 for a finger? Maybe it had a diamond ring on it. Ooh, nice guess, dude. Nice guess. I like that. Why wouldn't I just buy the ring? Maybe it didn't fit your finger, so you wanted their finger because it fit the finger. Yeah, a two-for-one special, dude. What? what? No, it's not a finger. Well, then what is it? It's this. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, you got the new iPhone. What? No, not the phone. It's what's on the phone. The phone case? What? No, the picture. Wait, what is that? It's a noodle. Dude, it looks like a stick. Well, it's not a stick. It's an NFT. What's an NFT? Well, it's a non-fungible token. Oh, it's a token, so you can use that at Chuck E. Cheese. Ooh, now that's fun. Well, no, it's not that kind of token. It's a non-fungible token. You can't funge it. So what is it? Well, it's a picture. You paid $2,000 to have a picture on your phone? But no, I paid $2,000 for an NFT. So what's it do? Well, you're doing it. What? We, we can only look at it? Well, yeah. I mean, no, no. Actually, you could hang it up on the walls of your digital house. A digital house? Yeah, you know, in the metaverse. Like, I mean, I guess technically I'd have to buy some land in the metaverse and then hire a digital construction worker to build me a house. But, but then I could hang it up on the walls. Why don't you just go on your computer, print it out, and hang it up in your real house? Yeah. Well, because that wouldn't be the same thing. That This is an NFT. So you only have it on your phone? Well, yeah. Well, what if your phone dies? Well, then I just charge my phone. Well, what if a meteor hits the Earth and there's no electricity anymore? Well, then that's not going to happen. Well, what if it does? Well, then I'd have bigger problems than just my noodle. You'll wish you had that $2,000 back. Well, no, no, I'm happy with this. So what are you going to do with it in the future? Like, how long are you going to have it for? Oh, well, I could probably sell it for a lot of money, maybe. Who else would buy this? Well, I don't know, somebody who wants a noodle? No one's gonna pay $2,000 for this, Cody. But yes, they will. Look, look, look. The, the, the cool thing is that I could put this in my digital world, okay? Hold on. Wait, what are you doing? All right, Cody. I just made it in my virtual world in Minecraft. Yeah, but that's that's not the metaverse. It doesn't matter. More people play Minecraft. Well, but but people can't come visit it. Yeah, I can open up the server and everyone can come look at my NFT that I own now. Well, but that's you don't own that. See, I have the original. Well, what if I just took a picture of your phone with my phone? Then it would be on my phone and I would own it. No, you can't do that. Oh, yeah, hold on. Give me a second. Well, but you can't. What you... Look, I just did. I just took a picture. Look, I own it now. It's on my phone. Well, you don't You don't own it, though. Yeah, I do. It's on my phone. Hey, hey, Joseph, I just sent you a text. Ooh, what you send me, dude? Oh, dude, I own it now. Yeah, we all own it. Oh. No, no, you guys don't own it. You just have it. It's, it's, not... it's, on, our it's on our phone. Yeah, we, we own it. It's on your phone. It's on our phones. We all own it. Well, but it's not worth anything, though. H how would anyone know that you own it? They, all, they would think we all own it. Yeah. Well, look, right there. It says owned by Cody. I could 
have been Cody. Yeah, I could make a username named Cody. My yeah, name's Cody. But 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 you can't sell it. That's the main thing. I can sell. I can print this out, and I can sell more copies than that one sells. No, nobody would buy that. What? Why? What, because this is the real one, and they didn't. I, I paid two thousand dollars for this. So. Hold on. Wait. All right, Cody. I just printed this out and framed it. Whoa, dude, this looks sick. I would totally buy this for two thousand dollars. No, that's that's dumb. No one would buy that. But it's the physical version. You can touch it and feel it, and even if your phone dies, you can still see it, and you can hang it up in your real house in real life. But but I, I have the original, so it's. I paid two thousand dollars for this. You know how much I paid for this? I paid five dollars for the frame and a dollar to print out at UPS. So it costs six dollars to get a physical version that'll never disappear. Like no matter what, like even if electricity stopped existing, I would always have this picture. What a steal! But 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 you can't put it in the metaverse. You know, you people around the world can see mine. Like somebody in Japan could see this. They couldn't see yours. I can FaceTime somebody in Japan and show it to him over the phone, or I can make a video on YouTube about it and show it to him. But, but Justin Bieber couldn't see it. What? Well, well, Justin Bieber did a concert in the metaverse, so he could have come to my virtual house in the metaverse if I had one and he could see my noodle. Why would Justin Bieber come to your house? You're not cool, dude. Yeah, why don't we just buy tickets to a Justin Bieber concert, sit row one, hold it up in front of him. He has a better chance of seeing it from the stage than in your stupid virtual world. He's not going to stop by your virtual house. But but mine, I, I could I could sell this for a lot of money someday. You know, th this is an investment. I can sell this for a lot of money. I bet you I can. I'm going I'm to call an art dealer and I'll have him come over and see how much he'll give me for this. What, no, you, you can't do that. So where's the painting that's for sale? It's right here. Oh my sweet baby Jesus. That is the most elegant painting I've ever seen in my entire life. In all my years of collecting art, I've never seen something so modern, yet so minimalistic. I'll take it. I'll take it for $10,000. What? Actually, no. It would be my pleasure to pay more. I'll pay $20,000. But, 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 but look right here. I have the original. Oh, great. You took a picture of my painting. You may have a photo of my painting, but I have the original right here. What? No, no, no. That's not the original. This is the original. They just printed it out. Come here. Uh, okay, Come here. Okay. I don't give a fuck. Okay, this right here is the original. You just took a picture. Great, have but, fun with your picture. But no, 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 I, I paid for this one. Uh, hey, do you want to buy the one that I made on Minecraft? Could you get out of the way? Look, I, I made it on Minecraft. <gasps> yes, I'll take it. I'll take it for $10,000. Oh, you can have it then. But, Great. No, no, no but, but I have the original one right here. But this one right here is 3D. I can walk around it and shit. Mine. Thank you so much. Pleasure doing business. Uh, pleasure, Hi, but, pleasure doing business with you. But don't you want this one? See, see Cody, look, I just made $30,000 off your stupid little doodle photo. But, but this is stupid. He can't use any of that stuff in the metaverse. Like, Justin Bieber can't see it. Oh, dude, I'm about to go print some more copies. Yeah, I'm going to print more, too. But no, don't. Ooh, dude, we're about to make so much cash. Heck yeah, we are. Guys, I'm going to call the cops if you don't stop. Wait, why? Well, because you're stealing my NFT and you're selling it. We're not stealing your NFT. You said the one on your phone is the only original one. We're just printing them out and selling them. But, 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 but it's still, like, mine and you're making money off of it. Well, you said these are worthless. Well, they are. Well, then why'd we make $30,000 selling them? Well, th that'll never happen again. <gasps> oh, dude, I think we got a customer. How much are these? Uh, I'll sell two of them for $20,000. All right, sure. Oh, 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 dude, we just made a sale. Okay, that's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, Cody. Come on. <sighs> All right, dude, I just printed out two more copies. We got to stay stocked up. Good thinking, Joseph. Also, we don't offer refunds. We don't want people asking for their money back when they realize they're not worth anything. Oh, yeah, you're right. Smart, smart. There they are, officer. Oh, so these are the kids who stole something from you that was worth $2,000, huh? Yeah, they sure did. All right, you kids should know that this is a very serious crime. Stealing something worth that much is a felony. But, officer, we did didn't steal anything. We just printed out photos that we found on our phone. Yeah. Oh. Well, yes, they did steal something from me. They stole my noodle. What? Uh, I'm sorry. What? Your noodle? Yeah. This picture right here in my phone. But it's also on my phone. Yeah, my phone too. What? Uh, I'm sorry. I don't understand. Whose picture is this? It's mine because I paid two thousand dollars for it. Whoa. Hold on. What? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. You paid two thousand dollars for that little picture on your phone? What? Well, yeah. Well, kid, that's the real crime here. You got scammed. It's not a scam. I wanted this. What? Why? Because he's a stupid dumb idiot and he thinks it's worth something? No, it's because I want to show it to Justin Bieber in my virtual house in the metaverse. Um, kids, is is he okay? Like, is he on something? He's been talking crazy all day. Yeah, he's sick in the head. Well, I'm not crazy. This is the future. Uh, okay, kids, so are you, like, seeing aliens and stuff, too? Well, yeah, I guess, I guess there could be aliens in the metaverse. Anything's possible. Okay, I'm gonna check him into a mental facility because something's wrong with him. There is. Wait, yeah, I understand. No, no, no it, it, it's NFTs. It's it's the metaverse. It, it's, but, 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 but my noodle. Okay, we're gonna get you a lot of noodles in the facility, okay? But, no, 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 no. But my noodle, though. No, it's okay. We're gonna get you the help you need. I'm so glad he's getting help. Right? All right, kids. You should probably know before you go in there, he's in a straight jacket in a padded room for your protection and his. So just let us know if he gets too crazy. What's up, buddy? <laughs> 
Don't what's up, buddy me? You guys stole my noodle. Nurse, he's yelling. No, Junior. All right, what's going on in here? He was yelling at us. Yeah, he tried to bite me. Are we going to have to put the mask on you so you don't bite anybody? No, I'll be nice. All right, Cody, use your words. You guys stole my noodle. You keep talking about noodles, Cody. That's why you're in here. Yeah. But... Guys, the metaverse is the future. If you keep talking like that, they'll never let you out. All right. We got a mental health professional here to do some therapy for you. All right, kids, move out of the way for Nurse Jackie that put him in a straight Jackie. Hello there. I don't want to talk to her. Oh, he doesn't want to talk to you. Get the rabbit. Okay. Here, talk to Mr. Bunny. Oh, Mr. Bunny. I don't want to talk to Mr. Bunny. Oh, come on. Tell Mr. Bunny how you feel. Okay, Mr. Bunny, my asshole friend stole my noodle! Ugh, this poor kid won't stop talking about noodles. Somebody get him a noodle, please? Jackie, the goddamn noodle, please? Uh, okay, all right, all right! Here's your noodle. What, what, what is this? This isn't my noodle. Get that away from me! Oh, no. He can't even recognize noodles anymore. He's completely lost touch with reality. I'm gonna call the family to see if we have to put him down. Damn shame. Mm -hmm. well, guys, you have to get me out of here. Well, no, Cody. Like, if we let you out of here, you're going to start talking about noodles again. No, yeah. gu guys, guys, please. Oh, look, if you get me out of here, I'll admit the noodle was stupid. <gasps> you will? Yes. Will you try to sell it? But, yeah, sure. He still thinks it's worth something. He hasn't changed. But, no, 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 no. Gu guys, please get me out of here. I'll, I'll delete it or something. I'll figure it out. <sighs> okay, Cody. We'll believe it. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. All right. Before we put your son down, are you sure this is what you want to do? Yes, I'm sure this is what I want to do. No son of mine is going to talk about noodles and shit. Oh, this is not a life he should live. No son of ours is going to talk about noodles. Yeah, we can just make another one. Ain't that right, baby? <laughs> Time to get a new mattress. Mm, mm, mm. All right. I'll let you say your goodbyes. What? What? Oh, no. He's escaped. What? This is bad. He's a danger to society. We're going to have to catch him. Thanks for getting me out of the mental institution. You're not going to talk about noodles anymore, are you? No, I'm not going to talk about noodles. We also sold all the pictures we printed out. Oh, good. I'm very proud of you for stealing my stuff. Also, we made this. Oh my god, what the hell is that? It's a 4D sculpture of your noodle. What, 4D? What, does it have a smell? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, it smells like noodles. Exactly, right? Isn't it cooler than the dumb one you bought on your phone that doesn't do anything? That <laughs> stupid phone noodle. Uh, I have to admit, guys, this is pretty cool. Would you pay more than $2,000 for this? Yeah, I think I would. <gasps> He's learning. I know. This one's better because you get to see it. It pokes out at you. It's really cool. And it has that smell, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there is one downside. What? Well, what is it? I mean, you can't. What was it? Say it, say it. You can't use it in the metaverse. And you're staying in your straight jacket. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, guys. Oh, dude, I think we have a buyer. Oh. oh, my God. That is the most divine sculpture I've ever seen. I'll buy it for $130,000. <gasps> Seriously? Oh, you can have it. Great. Oh my god, dude! Oh, his cash! We just made $130,000 off that sculpture! What? This is ridiculous, but I have this noodle! There he is! Get him! No, 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 no! No, don't take me back! No! He tried to bite me! Yeah, he's crazy. <sighs> I'm gonna sell his stupid NFT because I'm tired of looking at it. Yeah, me too, dude. <gasps> it, it actually sold for $1,000 more! Oh, wow! Who we rich? Black holes. Black holes can suck up anything. Nothing can escape a black hole. <laughs> How do you think my wife got pregnant? Hey, Cody, your mom has three black holes because she's a hoe. <laughs> and you have a black dad. Guys, don't bully me today. Hey, dude, you want a piece of gum? Yeah, sure, Joseph. Teacher, Joseph's chewing gum in class. Cody, you snitch. Joseph, no chewing gum in class. Spit it out. Fine, teacher. <laughs> Joseph, did you just spit gum in my hair? Yeah, my bad, dude. I didn't mean to do that. What do you mean you didn't mean to? You spit it right at me. I couldn't find the trash can. God. You didn't even try. Teacher, can I go to the clinic? I have gum in my hair. How'd you get that in your hair? What the hell you been doing in class, weirdo? Oh, you said gum. You can go to the clinic. Thank you. God, I hate you guys. Joseph, I think you really made Cody upset. He'll get over it, dude. Hey, Joseph, have you heard from Cody? No, dude. Not since he went to the clinic earlier. I hope he's okay. Yeah. Hey, jerks. Oh, hey, Cody. What's up, buddy? Oh, you still have the gum in your hair. Oh, you still have the gum in your hair. Yeah, I know. I do not sound like that, Cody. Why don't you just pull it out, dude? Yeah, why don't you just grab it? Oh, gee whiz, I hadn't thought of grabbing it. It doesn't come out. Well, why don't you take a shower and try to wash it out? I've tried that too, Junior. Gum is sticky. Well, it says online all you have to do is put toothpaste in your hair and the gum will come out. Huh, I, I hadn't thought of that. Oh, Joseph, grab some toothpaste. Okay, I'm on it right now, dude. <sighs> I got it. All right, so start putting on Cody's head. Okay. Well, I think we should put a towel down in case it drips off his face. <laughs> I've heard that one before. I'll go get the towel. Yeah, okay, the towel's down. I'm ready, Daddy. Uh... Why do you have your mouth open? Oh, sorry, it's just a habit. Okay, I'm ready now. All right, Joseph, put the toothpaste on his head. Okay, dude. <sighs> 
There we go. Well, how's it look? Now you have pink and blue on your head. It's like a gender reveal. Ha! What gender are you? We can't assume it. <laughs> what, guys, now I, even, I have an even bigger mess on my head. Well, at least a pigeon didn't poop on it. Yeah, you'll be in trouble then, dude. Mm -hmm. What, guys, what do we do about the gum? Okay, look, why don't we go ask Chef Pee Pee how to get gum out of your hair? Because look, he, he works with food all the time, so he probably gets food in his hair all the time. Yeah. No, he has the opposite problem. He gets hair in his food. Oh, tomato, potato. Well, let's go ask him. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. This mac and cheese is going to be so good. Hey, Chef Pee Pee, what are you doing? Oh, I'm cooking mac and cheese, Junior. Wait, what's on Cody's face? I was a naughty little smurf. And he has gum in his hair. What? Yeah, he has gum in his hair. Look. Oh, oh, gum. Yeah, so how do we get gum out of his hair? It's stuck. Oh, it's an easy fix. All you have to do is stick your hair in this boiling water and the gum will disintegrate. Well, I can't put my head in boiling water. It'll burn my head. Oh, not your head. Your hair, you idiot. Just your hair in the water. Yeah, yeah. And look, I'll, I'll hold you so you don't fall in. Uh, okay. Yeah, look, look. You want that gum out of your hair, right? Uh, All right, look, look, look. Oh, my phone's ringing. I am so sorry, Cody. Junior, you dropped me in boiling water. My phone was ringing. Well, now I have third degree burns all over my face. Look at the bright side, Cody. Now you can play as Deadpool, you know, because his face is all ugly. Yeah, I get it. Or Darth Vader. Yeah, Darth Vader, because Darth Vader's face is all burned and ugly. Yeah, okay, I get it. Or Darth Maul, because his face is all red and scary. Okay, great. Are there any other horribly disfigured people I look like? Ooh, Freddy Krueger. Yeah, Freddy Krueger, because hey. his face is all burned and ugly. Yeah, yeah cool. For couldn't forget about him, yeah. Wait, wait, there's still gum in your hair, Cody. You know what? Just, just shave it off. I don't even care anymore. Oh, I've been waiting for you to say it, dude. All right, shape, shape. <laughs> and done. Oh, you are one ugly freak, if I do say so myself. Mm-hmm. I really love how it's just bully me day. Hey, Cody, look down. Uh, hey, Joseph, look, the top of Cody's head looks like the stains in my underwear. <laughs> he doesn't wipe. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. So look, Cody, look, at least the gum's not in your hair anymore. So when your hair grows back, it'll be beautiful. Yeah, but my face won't. Your face was never beautiful, Cody. It had all those pimples. And look, those burns really distract from the pimples on your face. Yeah. Oh, that's great. I just don't know what my parents are going to say when I go home. Well, you don't have to go home. You can stay here as long as you want. Your parents will never know. <coughs> Who's that? Hello? Is Cody here? His black butt better be here. Uh, yeah, he's upstairs. Oh, thank God. We were tracking him. We put a microchip in him at the vet. Yeah, it only costs $50. I know the veterinarian personally. She got ass for days. It's true, she does. And if I was a dog, I would beg for her to put me down every night. Put me down like a baby. Goo goo ga ga. <laughs> well, well, Cody's upstairs. Oh, good, because we need to talk to him. I have to spank his little tushy for not coming home. And for not eating his Brussels sprouts last night. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's a waste of Brussels sprouts. Yeah, he think we play about them Brussels sprouts. No, no, nah, we ain't playing. Oh, okay, well, Cody's upstairs. Okay. <clears throat> All right, Cody's right here. But Junior, what are my parents doing here? Cody, what happened to your face? And why didn't you eat your Brussels sprouts last night, boy? Okay, first of all, Brussels sprouts are gross. <gasps> you better watch your damn mouth before I make your face uglier than it already is. But Cody, what about your face? Well, my face fell into some boiling water. That's not how you bob for apples, boy. You don't bob in boiling water. You bob in regular water. You crazy? Well, I wasn't bobbing for apples. Then why are you sticking your head in boiling water, stupid? Well, if you would just let me finish, I was gonna say I was trying to get gum out of my hair. That's not how you get gum out your hair. You don't stick your head in boiling water. You go to the gas station for gum. Wh what? N no, no, I was trying to get the gum out of my hair. Well, jump in the shower if it's in your hair, boy. Mom, are you getting any of this? Cody, you look hideous. We should call a doctor. But, Mom, we can't call a doctor. Pablo doesn't have three arms. I mean, I know he's gorgeous and he's immensely talented and he's basically carrying the channel at this point, but there's no way he could play all three characters at the same time. Yeah, Cody. Cody, you're right. I'll go home so the doctor can come. Hey there, somebody call a doctor. Ugly, ugly, burn face bald is what you are. Uh, I'm sorry. Look, I got fired from the burn unit at the hospital because I just can't handle ugly or gross, and you're both. Well, his face got like that because he put his face in boiling water. Oh, is that what happened? I thought he was trying to bob for french fries in the grease. See, that's what I thought. See, he was bobbing for something. He was bobbing for something. Well, how do we fix his face? Uh, well, there's three things we can do. One, we could find a magical genie lamp and wish for his face not to look so ugly. Or two, we could try to get a time machine and then go back in time to before he put his face in the boiling water and then stop him from doing that. Or three, we could uh, put some bandages on his face so we just don't have to look at him anymore. Ooh, let's go with that one. That will sound cheaper. Yeah, let's do with that. Okay, I'll get the bandages. And done. Oh my gosh. I did it. You're good as new. Nobody would ever suspect that you're a horribly disfigured, burn face, bald freak. You look like a mummy, boy. <sighs> Thanks, Dad. Anyway, my work here is done, rings. Just don't go putting your face in hot water anymore. I'm gonna go home and make sure your mama making Brussels sprouts and not on that damn computer. 
sorry about all this happening, Cody. I almost feel like it's our fault. But it is you guys' fault. Joseph put gum in my hair and you dropped me in boiling water. See, like, that's why I kind of feel like it's our fault. So look, we'll make it up to you. We'll do anything you want. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. Okay, I can tell you how you'll make it up to me. You guys are gonna play Magic the Gathering with me. Oh, that sounds like a nerd game. Yeah, for losers. And dumb people. Yeah, it is, and I want to play it. So you're gonna take me to the store and you're gonna buy me a deck of cards. Okay. I'm gonna stay here, dude. All right, Junior, this is the one. You're really gonna make us play Magic the Gathering, Cody? Yes, now buy it. Can I help you with something? Oh, uh, yeah, we want this. Oh, my God, it's a robber! I'm not a robber. But you're wearing a ski mask! It's not a ski mask. These are bandages. I'm calling the cops! All right, you're under arrest. Wait, what do you mean? You just saw me. You put the bandages here. Yeah, tell it to the judge, criminal. What? I am so sorry for arresting you and... Wait. Did you just take my hat, you little rascal? No. I see it right there in your hand. You know, I could have you arrested for that, but I won't, because I'm a fun cop today. Anyway, I'm really sorry for what that guy did to you in the holding cell. Well, I'm not really mad about that. I'm just mad you arrested me. Well, you do kind of look like a robber with those bandages on your face. Well, do, what? Don't touch me. Don't ever touch me. I'm in cop mode. I'll break your arm. Well, I was wondering, uh, maybe you could just do a face transplant. Like, you'll give him a new face. A face transplant? You mean like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? That'd be sick. Yeah, I can do a face transplant. That looks like a job for Dr. Man. -na 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 -na. Wait, you can really do a face transplant on Cody? Yeah, sure, let's do it. So guys, how do I look? Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys, Jesus, what did I do? I'm a monster. Uh, where'd you get the face from? Somebody died in a car accident and they donated it, but now I want to give it back. So how do I look? Oh God. Well, come on guys, I don't look that bad, do I? What? No, no, I look okay, right? What? Show me! What, what the hell is that? What, oh, oh my god, is that me? Oh my god, that's me? Get it off! I don't want it anymore! Oh my god, get it off me! Oh, look, Cody, 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 maybe, maybe you'll grow into it eventually, right? But really? You think I'll grow into it? But, well, nobody at school's gonna notice, right? Hopefully not. <laughs> Okay. Oh, my bad, dude. I just had to throw up. Yeah, yeah he, I think he ate some bad food earlier, right? Not not because of my face, though, right? Oh, no, buddy. <laughs> uh, okay. I just gotta go. I'll see you tomorrow, dude. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see you at school tomorrow, Cody. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, nobody's gonna notice. I feel confident enough to go to school now. Yep. yep so, you can leave. Uh, I don't, I don't want to uh, look at you anymore. Uh, okay. Hey, guys. Dude, you scared me! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I forgot to bring a pencil. Hey, Penelope, can I borrow a pencil? Sure, Cody! Ah! Oh, she must have stabbed your finger with the pencil or something. Joseph, can I borrow a pencil? <laughs> oh, man, Joseph must have a stomach bug. Hey, Junior, can I borrow a pencil? Um, yeah, sure. I, I don't have one. Oh, okay. All right, Crass, today we are doing yearbook pictures, so I hope you work your best today. Yearbook pictures? Oh, no! I have a stain on my shirt. Now my picture's gonna be ruined. Oh, that's what's gonna ruin it? Hey, Junior. Sorry we're late to the Happy Meal party. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry I'm late. It was so much traffic, and I had to steal my Happy Meal from the drive-thru. It's fine. What, Junior, you started eating without us? Yeah, I was hungry. Wait, what's wrong with your chicken nuggets? There's nothing wrong with them. Well, they have little red dots all over them. Oh, I thought that meant they were spicy. No, I don't think that's what that means. I wouldn't eat those. Yeah, me either, dude. They don't look good. Well, well, well maybe maybe all those red dots are just a bunch of snipers pointing their sniper rifles at them. But, Junior, that's an even better reason not to eat them. Hey, Joseph, these chicken nuggets look like Cody's face. <laughs> True, dude. All the little red dots are all the pimples on Cody's face. <laughs> He's such a nerd. Okay, screw you guys. I'm just going to eat my Happy Meal. Yeah, just eat it. See, Junior, this is what normal chicken nuggets are supposed to look like. Well, Cody, look at my face. This is what a normal face is supposed to look like. Not covered in pimples. <laughs> okay, fine. Just enjoy your weird chicken nuggets then. Okay, I will. Oh, dude, they forgot the toy. No, they didn't. No, they did not. I can't believe this. Screw them. But they got the apple slices, though. Well, we can't play with apple slices. Oh, yes, you can, dude. Look, it's a mustache. I'm a detective. That's so funny. <laughs> Dude, Junior, what's wrong with you? What? There's nothing wrong with me. Whoa, dude. You have little red dots all over you. Oh, the snipers are pointing at me. Ah, you can't. No, jo Joseph, don't touch him. He might be contagious. Well, what, are you, what, what are you guys talking about? Go look in the mirror. Okay, what are they talking about? <gasps> ah! I look like Cody! Ah! 
Guys, guys, guys! I look like Cody! What, gay? What, no, not that. I have all these pimples on my face, like Cody does. Junior, those aren't pimples. These are pimples. Well, at least he finally admitted he was a pimple face freak. Yeah, the first step is admitting it. Uh -huh. Guys, I know I have acne. You don't have to point it out all the time. Admit you're ugly. No! Now he doesn't admit it? I know. What? What's his problem? But anyway, guys, what do you think I have? Like, what do you think this is? Well, you did eat a chicken nugget that had red dots on it, so it probably came from that. What do, what do you think it's called? Uh, I don't know, but it probably has the word chicken in it. Like, chicken dots. Yeah, that sounds right. You think I have chicken dots? Yeah. Okay, well, we have to call a doctor. Can, can you call a doctor? Yeah, I will, but I don't want to get chicken dots, so I'm going to go home. What? Well, you're gonna stay here, right? Yeah, dude, I don't care about getting chicken dies. Okay, so until the doctor gets here, let's play with your apple slice. Uh, look, it looks like a boat. What's with you people in boats, huh? Is there something you want to tell me? Hey there, somebody call a doctor. Whoa, what is wrong with your skin? Stay away from me! Wow, you never seen a black person before? Oh, no, 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 I, I was talking to him. So much racism in this room right now. No, 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 I, I was talking to him because he has red dots on him. You know what? I'll let it slide this time. Whew, I was close. I almost lost my job. So what's going on? Well, I have all these red dots all over me. Oh, yeah, you look just like my scrotum in college. Well, what do you think it is? Well, if you're anything like me, you got it from a fat girl named Gabby. Do you know Gabby? What? No. No, well, you probably don't have what I had then. Wait, did you eat these polka dot chicken nuggets? Well, yeah, I did. Well, that's probably where it came from. These chicken nuggets are clearly contaminated. They what? put out a health warning. Didn't you hear about that? Well, they're contaminated with what? Well, they're contaminated with chicken pox. Yeah, they're saying that if you buy the chicken nuggets at, at McDonald's with the chicken pox, you... I don't fucking know. I'm gonna have one of these chicken nuggets. That's good. That's my lunch break. So what would you suggest I do? I would suggest you stay away from people and uh, don't hook up with fat girls named Gabby. I'm gonna take these. I'm glad that racist doctor's gone. Well, Joseph, he said to stay away from people. <coughs> so I don't wanna... <coughs> I don't wanna get you sick. Oh, uh, you're right, dude. I'm gonna go home. Oh, dude, I forgot my Happy Meal. Wait, you're still eating those nuggets? Well, I'm already sick, so what's the worst that could happen? Uh, I guess you're right. Wait, wait, Ken's still here? <gasps> Cody must have left Ken here. <gasps> we should prank Cody. We should get a red Sharpie and put red dots all over Ken, and he'll think Ken got the chicken pox. Oh, dude, that would be hilarious. Go get a red Sharpie. Okay. All right, I got the Sharpie, dude. What? That's the wrong color, Joseph. What? The wrong color? So you're saying it's wrong to be brown? What? No, 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 no. I just said get a, get a red Sharpie because he needs red dots because it's chicken pox. <laughs> I'm just testing you, dude. Uh, okay. All right, dude. Here's the red Sharpie. Oh, man. This is going to be so funny because Cody's going to think he has chicken pox. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to start putting dots all over. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> and done. Oh, dude. He looks like he has the chicken pox. I'm going to call Cody and tell me he forgot Ken. Oh, dude. This is going to be so funny. Yeah. All right, Joseph. It's ringing. Jello. Hey, Cody. Uh, you left Ken here. No, I didn't. He's right. Oh, oh my God. I left Ken there. Yeah, he's uh, he's been sitting next to me. And he's been, like, flirting with me, and he tried to come on to me. What? No, no, Ken, Ken wouldn't do that. He, he said we'd wait until we could do it together. What? what? I'm on my way. Okay. Oh, he's coming over, Joseph. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm here. You didn't start without me, did you? Cody, why don't you have a shirt on? Well, I thought we were all three going to finally do this. Do what? Well, you said Ken was flirting with you, so I thought we were going to, you know, so I took a shower. That's why my hair's still wet. Um, oh no, Cody! Uh, what's all these red bumps on Ken? Well, Ken, what happened? You didn't eat cheese, did you? You know you're allergic to cheese. He gets like this when he eats cheese. Oh, Ken, I'm gonna have to punish you for eating all that cheese, you dirty little mouse. I'm gonna have to spank your little mouse ass, and I may never stop. Somebody's gonna have to send me a cease and desist letter. Turn around, guys. This is gonna get graphic. Uh, uh, uh Cody, I, I think he might just have the chicken pox. What, chicken pox? Is that what you have? Yeah, the doctor said I have chicken pox, and now Ken has it. Well, why would Ken have chicken pox? unless... <gasps> oh my god, you've been making out with Ken! Well, no, I haven't. Did Junior explain why Ken's over here when I left him over here? Well, I, I picked him up and put him right here. And then you kissed him? Well, no, I didn't. All right, Junior, that's it. We're gonna fight. Well, I don't want to fight you, Cody. No, I'm gonna fight you, Junior. Nobody kisses my boyfriend. Well, I don't want to fight, Cody. Why not? Are you chicken? <laughs> Oh my god, Junior, you actually are a chicken! Dude, what's happening? I think eating the chicken nuggets turned him into a chicken! What? Stop, what, what, stop, 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 stop picking Ken! I, I said stop it! Okay, that's it. You want a cockfight, huh? Well, I'm gonna whip it out. You're lucky my zipper's stuck. Ow, 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 stop picking me! Ow, ow. Oh! Okay, okay, you win! I'm, I'm gonna call a doctor! Hey there, this is the second time I've come today. Oh, you, you're just the whole chicken now. What are we gonna do? Uh, well, at least we can confirm he didn't get this from Gabby. But the good news is I have a cure for this. You do? Yeah, I can give him this shot of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. It'll turn him back into a human and also make him age backwards. But, you know, it'll fix it. Well, give it to him then! Okay, come here, you. Hold still, hold still. C could you hold him down? I need to get the shot in there. Uh, okay. <laughs> 
Me, me, me. All right, that should do it. So what?